Hello everyone, I am back. This will be my last stream in a while because I'm going to be pretty busy this next week. But uh, this will be the final Shadowbringers stream, the uh, post-Shadowbringers stream, I mean. And uh, I have no idea what to expect. I uh, hope the uh, cliffhanger into Endwalker isn't too anticipating because I'm going to be holding that off until I can stream again. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I don't know, I mean, someone did say that the last patch was garbage and I ended up liking it a lot more than uh, I thought I would. I mean, but to be fair, that's because I really like Merlewib and uh, Emmerich showed up, and... Ah, uh, look at my, uh, Dragoon armor. I think I look a little silly with my, uh tummy just hanging out of it, but if uh, that's what the game wants to do, then that's what the game will do. Guys, we gotta make it sexy, because it's the girl armor. Why can't the boys have sexy armor? Yeah, I uh, finally finished my Dragoon logs, and I, I did not get the experience I wanted. But uh, after I get to level 53, I can just grind Heavensward Dungeons, or the first Heavensward Dungeon over and over again. But uh, time to go back to Dark Knight. Should probably uh, fix this. But I don't know, it costs money. I can I can find it in Mordona. Uh Mordona is right here. Uh, it's up here. I should just uh, fly over there on my dragon, but it feels a little excessive. So, uh, last time, there are mysterious uh, powers popping up all over the place. And I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. Yeah, what the fuck? I'm just gonna repair all of this. Are there aliens in this game? Honestly, I would not be surprised if there were aliens in this game. <laughs> this game has, like, literally everything. We've got uh, dragons, we've got fairies, we've got motorcycles, we got catboys, unfortunately. I'm still in my catboy hater arc, but uh, catgirls are fine. Cat girls are, are good. And I'm in my Alizé's my least favorite twin arc. <laughs> she better uh, do something uh, to make up for it. Uh, Alizé is waiting patiently for the return of certain scions, not least of all me. Good news, I was happy to thank her to Yuri Ange. I finished their tour of Golomod and are on the way back here even as we speak. As we still haven't heard anything on the towers from the Alliance, I'm hoping they might be able to shed some light on things. I do to arrive any moment now, so let's see what they have to say, eh?
Ah, uh, a welcoming party. You needn't have gone to the trouble. From what I hear, you've been more than busy enough as it is. Honestly, you might even you might have waited for me to return before discovering a cure for tampering. As it is, I can't even pretend to have been involved. Well, if it's any consolation, I myself have done more than a spectator. The lion's share of the credit must go to Alize, Graha, and I cipher. But it literally went all to me. But I believe I speak for the rest of us when I say we are proud to have rendered what little assistance we could. As you will also have heard, though, it has an old been tales of triumph. Just as we were taking a step towards finally addressing the primal threat, a pile of fresh problems landed in our lap! Anyway, it's good to have you back, though I can't help but notice that we're one Rianger short of a scouting party. You haven't lost it, have you? Oh, I couldn't lose him if I tried, and I did try repeatedly, but no, he decided to linger at Alamiga to apprise Robin and the others of how the land lies in Garlemald. Then mayhap you would do the same for us. Indeed, it was just as Lee said. Worse, in fact. Devastation as far as the eyes could see. No, then the uh, third, however, were notable by their absence. Might they have met their end at, end at the hands of Xenos and Fan Daniel? Perhaps. Or perhaps they simply lost the will to fight. She simply lost the will to live. You see, the capital has been plunged into a deathly silence, with one exception. The Imperial Palace. It was a busy place before the war, but it has grown busier still, with throngs of soldiers and civilians working there day and night to rebuild, or rather, transform it. Transform it? Into what? That is a difficult question to answer. The construction is vast and unsettling to behold, like something from a nightmare. According to Uriange, certain aspects of its design were clearly devised with the manipulation of ether in mind. Magitech, in other words. Yet, as unnerving as said edifice was, it was nothing as to the side of its builders. They swarmed the place like so many insects, working with nary a word exchanged between them. No one overseeing construction, no one barking orders. It was as if they were possessed or tempered. We wanted to investigate more closely, but given our suspicions, it seemed wise enough to take the risk. Hmm, if Fan Daniel could bind Bahamut to his will, might he have done the same to the people of Garlemald? Whatever the truth may be, this information is certain to prove valuable. You have our thanks. Well, be sure to save some Rianger, which reminds me, I have a message from Alamigo. Raban is hosting a meeting to discuss the ladies finding on the towers, and he requested our presence. Then why not leave that to us? You must be weary from your mission. No, no, no. I'm fine. Such towers have been on my mind since I first spied one on the way back, and I'm keen to get to the bottom of this. In that case, I shall stay and begin looking into another matter, as I promised Cryo. We need not all attend. Very well, I suggest the rest of us make our way to Alamigo forthwith. The sooner we leave, the more time we'll have to speak with the Rianger before the meeting. Oh, I guess I get to go to this one. I didn't get to go to the other meeting, and uh, it broke Emmerich's heart. It literally broke his heart that I wasn't there. He said so himself. Because it is canon that he is in love with me. Alright. Yeah, the city is big. I will use Midgard Storm here. My friends, much and more have I heard of your travels in our absence, heart and mind to see you all hail and hall. It's a way to see you safely return from mission, I trust thank thank you for the welcome. Well, well, if it isn't Elf known as Mary Band. Oh, it's, it's him. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Arnvald. Arnvald, whatever are you doing here? When we spoke to your Linkpo, you told me you'd be away on a mission. I know to say this isn't part of it, but enough about that. It's good to see you looking so similar. I thought you'd have grown a bit taller after a whole year in another world, but apparently not. But I'm sorry to disappoint you. 
While my soul may be a year older, my body has hardly aged, as you are well aware. Are you implying that uh, we were gone for a day here? Um, maybe it's the, uh... And might I remind you that we Ellison are known to be late bloomers, especially in terms of our height. Mark my words, the day will come when even a great Aurox such as yourself will crane your neck to meet my eye. <laughs> Drown, just like the rest of the Ellison. I twas not until my twentieth summer that I myself outgrew my boyish proportions. So moon breeder towered over me nonetheless. Fernvold brings out the best in Alphano, doesn't he? They both seem so at ease in each other's company. It's almost endearing. You know what other uh, romance I really want to see? Uh, Estinian Alphano, which is more important, as I remember. Why is Ehrenvald so important all of a sudden? So what exactly brings you here? Oh, Fordola mostly. Oh right, For Fordola exists. We need to go over a few things before we set out. Set out? Wait, does this have something to do with the towers? Hey, what gave you that impression? Actually, tell me later. You've got a mini to go to. I'll see you afterwards, alright? Fordola is going with him, and that must mean. My apologies. As Arnvald rightly pointed out, we have a meeting to attend. Let us be about it. I don't know why I have to go to this meeting, but I couldn't go to the Alliance meeting. Pisses me the fuck off. Oh! They are here. They are here, but uh, Graha fucking took to my spot my across from Emmerich. That's Frank what Frank I was Frank supposed to say. Graha no is this expansion's cockwalker. Imperial capital and live to tell the tale, much less in times of civil war. Thanks to them, we may plot our course in full knowledge of how the winds blow in Garlemald. Full glad are we to have been of service. But oh, verily, such dangers here. as we did encounter pale into insignificance next to those faced by our comrades. An Asian, armed with the might of Bahamut, bent on bringing about the final days. Theatrix. He sought only to make a show of the power at the Telephoroi's disposal. But since then we have seen no sign of this fun Daniel or his worm. And while we've done what we can to bolster our defenses, there's no telling where he might strike next. Graha literally took my seat. That was my seat at the last time we were in this room, because I was directly across from my boyfriend. But he fucking stole it. Whenever and wherever it may be, we must use the intervening time to learn more of our enemy. It was with this in mind that we dispatched scouts to investigate the towers. Our advance party took longer than expected to return. And when they did, they tried to kill us. Luckily, I'd seen that sort of thing before, and we were able to restrain them before they did any harm. Then it was just a matter of letting the Porksies do their work. Are you saying they were... Tempered. Once they'd come back to their senses, they told us everything they could. It seems that just as they were getting close to the tower, they heard an ear-splitting roar. And that was the last thing they remembered. I can just imagine Graha literally just grabbing the chair, pulling it up, putting it close, and just forcing me off to the side. What if I just overanalyze the position of everyone sitting here? Like, uh, Thancred doesn't want to be here, so he's on the end. Uh... I don't know, Aldize feels sorry for taking me away from my boyfriend before, so she thinks sitting next to me will make up for it. 
Lise thinks she's the most important person in the world, so she's in the middle on, the, on that side. Uh, Raban and Nanamo are next to each other because, you know, they miss each other. Kane Sena doesn't want to be there either because she honestly doesn't really want to be in the game anymore. Uh, Merliv is just there for to balance out the height because she and Ariange are both tall. And then Emmerich wanted to sit across from me, but uh, Graha ruined it. Oh yeah, and the twins are next to each other. Anyway, that's my analysis of where everyone is sitting at this meeting. But what worries me most is what they were saying right before they attacked. Glory be to Garlemald. Gee, almost as if they were brainwashed. The Tempered have heretofore ever been thralls to primal entities, yet these hapless souls were compelled to accept a nation as the object of their devotion. This calleth into question all that we know of the condition. Would that the unsettling news ended there. Alas, there is more. Following the earlier reports of missing Amalja, we have learnt that other beast tribes have suffered similar losses. That his voice is so sexy. And we now have reason to believe that the abductions are connected to the appearance of the towers. Is there anything I can do to help you personally? See, I looked at him because I'm in love with him, and it's canon. Our scouts sighted black-garbed figures leading shackled Ixel in the direction of the tower in Dravania. The Temple Knights were able to intercept them before they could reach their destination, liberating the Ixel and apprehending their captors, each of whom was found to be equipped with Garlean arms and armor. So the Empire is the common threat. I was about to say that. With the Shut up. Of Xenos, it seems likely that Fandaniel has rallied a faction of the splintered Galian army to the banner of the Trilophoroi. Lord Hien reached the same conclusion when I shared our findings with Doma. Don't bring him up. The plan had been to march on Garlemald from the east and west in order to force a peace treaty. But the situation has changed. Dealing with the threat of the towers must come first. Is it specifically to prevent that? Given the nature of the enemy, and the proven risk of tempering, I could think of few suitable candidates to aid in this task. But I am confident in my choice. Hello? Fordola. What? Resistant to primal influence as they are, they can investigate the towers without fear of being turned. We are glad to put our gifts to use, Commander. Gifted or not, going behind enemy lines remains a perilous undertaking. But we must know more if we're to strike back at our foe. I'm counting on you. If it would give us the upper hand, I'd do it a hundred times over. We won't let you down. That concludes the briefing. You two, make ready and join your escort. Are you certain about this, Arunvald? I am. Come on, let's talk outside.
Oh, I, oh, I can't talk to them anymore. That's... I'd actually think of see if I could, uh, pose Emmerich in G-Pose without mods. But, uh, anyway. What does Fordola have to say about all this? If it's small talk you're after, look elsewhere. Yeah, I was looking for Emmerich, but I don't know where he is now. Probably still inside. Probably, uh, cleaning up, if you know what I mean. Now that's out in the open, I don't have to keep it on my proverbial hat anymore. So you know, I've already gone through all the formalities at the Rising Stones. Made sure to inform Jamulva and Vmar at Ralga's Reach as well. Arenvold, I admire your enthusiasm, but this is far more dangerous than anything you have done before. I know the risks. And I also know what's in store if we don't stop Fan Daniel from carrying out his plan. With this power of mine, I can make a difference. If I stood idly by, I would regret it for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. I swear on me, Mum. And you, Fodola? Is this what you want? What are you asking me for? It's not like I have any say in the matter. Don't pretend. We both know Commander Eldin gave you a chance to refuse. And you didn't. <clears throat> so the Empire's finished, is it? But that's what they're all saying. That the great and glorious Garlemald slit its own throat. I think of the Four Dolas, probably my favorite Stormblood character. But she just, she has such a small part compared to all the annoying characters in Stormblood. And now, from out of its twitching carcass, crawls the Telophoroi with bloody Xenos at its head! I fought for Garlemald. Killed for Garlemald. They never respected you. What was I part of? I need to know. What if... Uh, I thought that was done, so sorry. Very well. If your hearts are set on this, I shall not stand in your way. It's called a fist bump, Alfie. If you finish with your touching display of camaraderie, I have a question. Which tower are you planning to investigate, exactly? Well, the one in Girabani is said to be tightly guarded. It's patrol after patrol out there, apparently. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near it. Which is why we've set our sights on the one in Pagalthan instead. There shouldn't be anything like as many Imperials to worry about down there. Where the fuck is Pagalthan? Even so. I doubt the local Amalja will look kindly on it if they catch you sneaking around in their territory. Fordola and I had a chance to learn the lie of the land in our previous forays there. We might still find trouble, but at least we won't lose our way. Well, we'd best not keep them waiting any longer. Mayhap, when all of this is over, we could take another trip to Loxeld. I would have you know I've become a rather capable swimmer since our last visit. What is all he talk about now? I'll is believe that when I swim. see it. Though, to be fair, getting into deep water does seem to be a scion's lot in life. Take care, eh? I seriously don't remember them being friends, but now they're all of a sudden BFFs. It means a lot, you know. 
You come in with me. I'll still owe you for saving my skin, don't I? Can't return the favor if I'm not there. Oh my god, she's Sundere. I dare say you'll get your chance before long. That Van Daniel sounds like a tricky customer. Too much for the likes of me, anyway. But we both know I'd just be another soldier if it weren't for my gift. And I need to be a damn sight more than that, given what's coming. I realize I can't hold a candle to a hero like the Warrior of Light, or Alfino, for that matter. He might look like he's 12, but he's seen more action than most people see in a lifetime. <laughs> he might look like he's 12. He's like 16. He, he's gotta be like 18 at this point, though. No, the fact is I'm nothing like them, and maybe I never will be. But I'll be damned if I don't try. They're counting on me. On us. On us. So let's give it our all. He does not want for conviction, that much is certain. So let us have faith in him. Him and Fordola both. Why can't uh, Fordola become a scion? While they see to the towers, I would attend to another task. Chasing down this lunar Bahamut. Huh? Oh, bloody thing. Can you hear me? It's Tataru. Oh. I'm happy to say we've managed to find Estinian. What? And I'm sorry to say he went running off again the moment we told him about Bahamut. Oh. But he did mutter something about heading to Ishgard. <gasps> so if you're quick, you might still be able to catch him. All right. Even if we set out this instant, he may already have left by the time we arrive. Have her send the Bonanza to Ishgard. It may prove useful should we need to give chase. Finally, we're going back home. Gladly. I'll see to it as soon as Krile and I get back to the Rising Stones. Good luck. While you go off on your Dragoon hunt, Urianje and I will return to headquarters. Ah, uh, now things are stepping others. up. Things are stepping up. I wish you every success in your search for our elusive friend. May we all meet again ere long. Our friend? Did you did you even know him? Are we finally getting the Ishgard reunion that I've been waiting for for uh, two entire expansions? Yeah, Alphano, you can go with me. Uh, Graha, you stay behind. Yeah, why the fuck are you guys going with me? You know what I can do? Yeah, what, why the fuck are you guys here? I just want Alpha now here. <laughs> the Sidian's just hiding in a box like a cat. I wonder if Emmerich's heard anything. Man, it would be so good to just have the old team back together. Sadly. 
it's impossible to have the whole team back together. Fury bless you, Orshafont. Lucia! Have you seen Estinian? Good evening to you, Warrior of Light. Ceramic send word that you would be attending the meeting in Alamiga, so I gather you have not come in search of him. To what's the other pleasure of your visit? I'm actually looking for Estinian. Have you seen him? I see. No, we were not aware so Estinian had returned to Ishgard. But as I expect you remember, he is wont to come and go as he pleases. May happy keep seeking an audience of Lord Emmerich only to find him absent. In any event, I am afraid I cannot help you. Perhaps one of your companions has fared better. Oh, he's still in a... Zaboomfu Zufu, is that a Lollipal name? Oh, the airship landing, that's where, uh... That's where we accidentally ran into each other yesterday. Where is the closest to the... Right, right here. Did you guys have any luck? No sign of him. Not that I've ever met him before, but the way Alphano goes on about him, I'm fairly sure I could pick him out in a crowd. Alphano goes on about a city in the way I go on about Emmerich, and Emmerich goes on about me. Speaking of which, it does seem awfully quiet. If the erstwhile Azure Dragoon had returned to Ishgard, would it not be a source of general excitement? No luck, only pain. First the Scion's coin keeper, and now you. I'm beginning to think these meetings are more than mere coincidence. Guys, we fucking found him. We fucking found him. Not that I'm complaining. It's been too long. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Does he? Does he think she's alpha now? Too long. What if he? What if he just like kissed her? It's like you'll I'm finally eighteen. Twice as rugged. It suits you, Alpha No. Oh my god. <laughs> Quieter though. Have you been giving him lessons on how to be the strong silent type? such firm friends. Perhaps you should remember what he looks like. And what do you mean, rugged? Ugh! Had my brother mentioned what an oaf you are, I'd never have bothered looking for you in the first place. Estinian Wormblood, the Azure Dragoon. He who fought and felled the dread worm Nidhogg at the Warrior of Light's side. That's not how it happened at all, but... To think the day would come when I should see this living legend with my own eyes. Would someone mind explaining what is going on? Uh, all right. Alvaro has a twin sister. I'm sorry no one mentioned that before. Also, we have a cat boy, fanboy following me around. So uh, that's pretty much it. 
Is there someone all right? trying to fight behind? I thought I heard Alize shouting. Oh, look, Alpha now. Look, look who it is. 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 Estinian, it's been too long. No, no, it's quite understandable. That was hardly the first time we've been confused for one another. Nor, I suspect, will it be the last. Well, I for one will not be making that mistake again. What I will say, for the second time today, is that you've grown. Inside and out. I can tell. Aww. One can't remain a spoiled little lordling forever, you know. At least someone's having a good time. You know when we were growing up, Alphano would never befriend other boys because he couldn't stand the thought of not being in charge. But maybe that's changed. He seems just as happy around Astinian as he does Arenvald. Okay, why is Arenvald all of a sudden Alphano's best friend? Did I just miss that? Like... Also, uh... Nalfano's finally come out of the closet. Congratulations. I think he learned how to talk to, with people rather than at them. I wouldn't be so sure. He still loves nothing better than the sound of his own voice. I did kind of not watch the entirety of Stormblood. True. I mean, Alpha wasn't even there for most of Stormblood. No rest for the righteous, eh? Speaking of which, I was just on my way to borrow an airship to take me to Azisla. Azisla? How could I forget? The dragon with whom Bahamut shared the deepest of bonds. I, Tiamat, his mate. Even now, she remains imprisoned on Azisla, though her remorse binds her faster than any shackle. Anyway, Estinian was big brother first. I see. As the one who first summoned Bahamut, you believe she may be able to shine some light on his latest incarnation. Might I suggest that we make the journey to Azisla together? I'm not sure if Tataru mentioned this, but we Scions have an airship of our own now. I see no reason why not. Assuming your sister can bear the thought of sharing a deck with me. Be my guest. But confuse me with Alphano again and I'll throw you overboard. Ugh! I don't know who he thinks he is, but he's nothing like Alphano painted him to be. He stinks! I will admit, he is not exactly as I imagined him either. Based on what I had read of the man, I think I was expecting someone a little less... blunt? We fucking got a Stinian back. We got him back. We got him back. Now everything feels right in the world. This is Stinian, I have to say. My text is blocking him. Up. Damn, I saw the who it was before. She may have again left for the animal. It has been quite some time- uh, why can't I read? It has been quite some time since I last set foot in Azus Law, but I understand the three of you were here rather more recently. I don't suppose you chanced to meet with Tiamat during a visit. No, they wouldn't let me. Unless not. We know I'm not reading it. Well then, I suppose is the person to ask. As far as I know, she's the only one of us who have met Tiamat face to face. Even now, she remains a prisoner of the Allegan Empire.
Ever since the end of the law with Mirasidia, yes? Two have been held captive for so long. I too have met with Tiamat. After the dragon saw a war came to a close, I came here to speak with her, a worm who had fought her own war against man in another age. I wish to know if she harbored thoughts of vengeance that asked as much. She said no. My hair should feel kind was distinguished long ago. But the guilt she feels for resurrecting Bahamut burns on undimmed, it's all that's her, even in hope. I see. And your original reason for coming here was out of concern that Tiamat has been forced to summon Bahamut. Free her! Nidhogg is a part of me. I feel his emotions as my own. And I know that he would not allow his sister to be made a tool for evil, of evil. In his absence, it falls to me to watch over him. Pizza? Pizza exists in this game? Pizza exists in this game. I'm just... If I really wanted a pizza, I'll make it. Or I'll just order one. From the, uh... From the Papa John's in the room. Tim out of weights. This way. Guys, Estinian. You see, now that I'm. When I was here, but just with Alize and the cat boy, it pissed me off. But now that I'm here with Alphano and especially Estinian, I'm very happy, even though uh, Alize and cat boy are also here. this music. Wait, I wonder if, uh, hold on. What am I doing? Hold on. Uh, how do I how do I turn myself around in uh, Oh I can't click on uh, NPCs, I can't make them do animations. Oh my god, guys, Estinian is me in real life. And Amnesis the Saint. Yeah, I have no idea how to use the knowledge of those. <laughs> She knows naught of recent events. Perhaps you should enlighten her. But my sin should be repeated. I sense not the faintest stirring. As to who could have called him forth, I know of none save the dragons of Mericidia, our children. The icon claimed their souls when he first, first he manifested, and robbed of their will. They became tools for the elegance dark designs. 
much like those held here in Asisla. If dragons who worship Bahamut are required to summon him, that must mean... <clears throat> yes, the dragons of Mirror City are at the mercy of this Aspen. There can be no other explanation. Cursed Asians, vile minions of darkness. Again, you would profane the memory of my beloved and strip our children of their freedom, their dignity. Are there no depths to which you will not stoop? Your children's pain means nothing to them. They laugh at your kind suffering. But tears will not right this wrong, nor will lamentations see the perpetrators punished. But what wouldst thou have for me, Slayer of Dragons? Behavior befitting a great worm. We came here to ask mighty Tiamat of the First Brood, consort of Bahamut, mother of the dragons of Maracidia, what she intends to do about the crimes committed against her children. I will say something. Whenever Astidian yells, he kind of sounds like Mr. Krabs when he's singing the grill song. You know, he's like, and fries will be fries. That's what he sounds like. I would answer thine insolence with fire, but words shall have to suffice. Recall, mortals, that it was I who did first summon my beloved, praying with all my being to bring him forth. You who contend with icons cannot well be ignorant of the consequence. You too were exposed to his influence. That you are yet in possession of your own will is testament to the indomitable strength of your soul. But were you to meet with Bahamut again, you fear you might succumb. You fear you might suck at come. <clears throat> Indeed, ask the Dragon Slayer, and he will tell thee the power we of the First Brood wield. Were I to lose myself to the Icon's influence, I'll repay the price. But it is of little matter. For even had I the strength to resist, I yet like the strength to break my shackles. This prison shall be my tomb. On the matter of Bahamut's influence, at least, I believe we can be of some assistance. If you're afraid of being enthralled, don't be. We have a cure. And while we've never tried it on one such as you, its basic principles are universal. You see, we give you a magic pig. There is no future for those bound to the past. That you committed a terrible sin, I do not dispute. But if you feel remorse, you may yet make amends. We offer Alphano you that chance. speech time. Take it, or you will forever remain a prisoner. Not of these cruel shackles, but of your own guilt. But our own star-faced annihilation, Quidalyn granted the sanctuary, and now your foes would bring about her destruction, 
This I cannot allow. For the debt I owe to Hydaelyn, and to all who have suffered for my sins, I shall fight with you, children of man. Why do I have to speak with him? Well, pork seeds have been shown to be a fed man. It's just five, five lives. Two pork seeds? Then, before going ahead, we should learn as much as we can about the exact nature of the condition. Do you suppose we can find that information here? Well, yes, we can. We can indeed. The Galligans kept detailed records in all of the notable counters, and I know exactly where to look. We shall leave that to you, that in the meantime the rest can turn our thoughts to the removal of your shackles. I know enough no nice life here one well, after not you. Are you certainly ready to see this through? Rest assured, Sir Stanian, that I am both ready and willing to give all for my sake of the star. But that is not my only reason for wanting to set Tiamat free. While I do not claim to know all the sor sorrows, I too found once found myself in a prisoner of despair. A prison of despair, and I well understand how hard it can be to dare to dream of escape. It took the encouragement of braver souls than I am to make me the same, take the same first step towards a brighter future, and now I would help Tiamat do the same. I gather you are not as young as you look. Mayhap when our work is done here, we can trade tales over Palatotaro's famous tea. It can be a dinner to hang off the leaves and not water. I think not. I see him returning swiftly to the task at hand, then. I believe the nose gathering Tiamat's restraints are located in the sector known as the flagship. Ah, oh, yes, we are familiar with it. The Ether Chemical Research Facility, in particular. Oh, you may wish to take this a spirit vessel containing a small amount of my blood. Which you just happen to be carrying around with you. I suppose that could seem rather odd. To explain, Ranbro's Uriaji and I are researching the use of spirit vessels in the transference and unbelieved memories, but the traits of certain bloodlines, and so I keep one at the ready should an opportunity to test our theories arise. As for you, you may recall that during our previous visit, the notes here granted access to restricted functions, having identified me as being of royal blood, and after the spirit vessel, I pose that they will do the same for you, even in the absence of, well, the rest of me, it seemed with a try at least. Agreed, we will take good care of it. the flagship then all right I get to uh, leave the uh, lame people behind and go hang out with the cool people Ella's is okay I don't know, I'm just, she's been pissing me off lately. This is where I, uh, Killed my boyfriend's dad. That was fun. I would rather leave the vlog in control to see you. Let us split up and search the flagship for the node that controls TMS restraints, but should you find a candidate, do not be tempted to make any adjustments. It would not do to accidentally release some man of experimental monstrosity, nor less him out herself in a current state. Our objective as a stage is to simply identify the relevant node or nodes. Once we've learned what we can, we should reconvene the compare notes prior to proceeding. I find these kinds of quests tolerable when I'm with cool people. 
I can say that about life in general. Friction between mountain. Yeah. I'm not reading that. Did you, did you just say a uh, dragon maintenance? That sounds kind of badass. Sorry, I have to go through a dragon maintenance right now. Have you found anything? Hmm. Have I just missed? Oh. I miss how the uh, Heavensward soundtrack just was constantly using the pipe organ. Like, I prefer it to Shadowbringer guitar, to be honest. These days are people, why do they call this so? Oh, now the music is really good. Here we go. Egg. Oh, this gives me chills. Kind of reminds me of FF10 music. Oh, and then this little piano section. Oh, shit. Infernal things. What if it's a sort of mechanical vibe? Thank me. They must have acted it. <laughs> this studio is so funny. He's just a little bit retarded, and I love him for that. But he's our retard. I'm afraid Sydney and I have a little show for FSU. Did so you find anything? Uh, a chirping note which spontaneously warned me about neglecting the dragon restraint drains. Spontaneously, you say? That does sound promising. Almost suspiciously so, in fact. But then you were in possession of the spirit vessel. I dare say it is indeed the note of which Rahal spoke. And it was chirping, you say? Very well, let's take a closer look. You know, I feel like sometime in the near future, I might want to stream a uh, new game plus Heaven's Word. Because I, I just loved it so much, and I only streamed the first part and the last part. Do you wish to operate the dragon restraint mechanisms? Bleep, bloop, you do not have the requisite access privileges. Oh, there's a vessel, loyal, a vessel full of royal blood, perhaps. New user detected. Commencing biometric authentication. Bloop. Authentication complete. User identified as member of the royal family. Please state your name. I say for septum. Would it be funny if I used someone else's name? Welcome, I say for septum. You may operate the dragon restraint mechanisms when ready. Error. Unable to disengage restraints of the specimen Tiamat. A system update is required. 
system update? What do you suppose it is asking of us? I, I could hazard a guess. Well, that's more than I can say. Confounded bloody thing. User agitation detected. Initiating guidance program loop in order to operate the restraint mechanism. I require access to the central control system. However, I am unable to establish a link to said system due to the obsolescence of my own software. This issue can be resolved by applying a system update using the corresponding terminal located within the flagship. So can this then release the restraints on it? It can, but only once it has received the requisite system update as far as I can tell. So much time for their spewing incense. Utter dissatisfaction detected. Initiating placation protocols. Bloop, I am here to help. Rest assured that I will be on hand to guide you through every step of the system update process. How gratifying, but I dare say we will fare better with guidance than without it. I don't trust computers. Enhanced Living Shadow? What did I uh, get from that? Increases the potency of attacks dealt by your simulacrum to 350. But I'll almost... Upgrades Flood of Shadow executed by your simulacrum to Shadowbringer. So there's an attack to all enemies in a straight line before it. The potency of 500 for the first enemy and 25% less for all remaining enemies. Oh fuck yeah! And uh... Oh, then I get Shadowbringer. Pineapple salad? That, that's like the shit I would make. Guiding user to terminal this way, please. Tinian is 100% still using Windows 7. No, he's still using Windows XP. Ah. I didn't need to go on there. Hey, the Warring Triad is an FF6 reference, which got me really excited. <laughs> I want to see what amusing things he says. Don't look at me, this is his view. Alright. Let's see, according to the terminal, the central control system is presently employing Windows 10. Dare I ask which version you are employing? Windows 11. By software version 42.002, of course, the blue warning errors detected in the day management system. Estimated time required for update, five years, one day. That is rather longer than we were hoping. This is a Windows XP. Are there any other options? For instance, using this terminal to operate TMS restraints instead? Luke, the proposed method is indeed an option. Please be warned, however, that the procedure may have changed as a result of the system update, and my instructions may no longer be accurate. Yeah, I can't imagine it will have changed all that much. As long as we pay due attention to any discrepancies, I dare say we should be able to muddle our way through. I don't think muddling is a 
Don't bother trying to explain. Just tell them if you made any progress. I would say so, yes. It does, however, require that I remain here to operate the terminal. I shall inform you of your link, Poe, once I am ready to release the shackles. It might be best if you left the spirit vessel with me. I may have yet use I may yet have use for it. Rest assured, I will be certain to return it to Grahatia once this is over. Both sides were but dancing to the tune of the Arsenes. And it was the same at Ishgard, where they stuck the fires of conflict between man and dragon from the shadows. All that the Arsenes tinged tins to ash, and thus have you made it your mission to fight them. But there have been times when you tried to reach out to them in state, to find common ground. And so I ask, what do you intend to do with Van Daniel? You're trying to jump to him too. I feel like he's beyond saving. He'll try, yes. And if that fails, I'll remember him. <laughs> I see a little point in reasoning with that wretch, or remembering him for that matter. But perhaps that's the difference between you and me. You see the good in people, even if it be but the faintest of men. I only hope you do not come to rear your benevolence. You think us unwise for viewing the world thus? Far from it. It's even in your way, as I learned when we journeyed together with Isaac. Yet the fact remains that there is some of your compassion as a weakness to be exploited, and there may come a time when you extend the hand of friendship only to wish that you had dealt the killing blow. So save your mercy for those who deserve it. Hmm. Well, we should get back to our task. If Alpha knows things in India, I suggest we rejoin the others. Uh, I gotta go back here. That is a good point. I'm I'm terrified of like being merciful with someone only to have them kill my loved ones in return. But also I don't want to become them. I want to uh I mean Emmett was constantly disrespecting me the entire time he was alive. But I feel like by remembering him like he asked, maybe I can prove to him that it, we don't have to do things his way. Estinian told me all is well, if nothing more, but nothing more. Honestly, it's like getting blood out of a stone with him. I take it from Althano's absence that he's needed elsewhere. Sounds rather frustrating, but you've got there in the end. But you got there in the end. Well, you're off from your nose. Well, and I were learning as much as we could about Tiamat's condition. Her readings confirmed that her ethereal real balance leads strongly towards the umbral, as was the case with the kobolds. Therefore, all other things being equal, the treatment should work. The difficulty lies in the sheer quantity of ether which, with which we must contend. Multiple applications of the treatment will inevitably be required if we are to reverse the effects of the tempering completely. Meaning I'll need all the ether I can get. Thank you in advance. 
Although this endeavor will ask much of us, ask much of us, we do have more reason to be optimistic. Namely, that Tiamat shows no signs of fanatical devotion, suggesting a milder case of tampering than that suffered by the Kobolds. Oh, Tiamat, so the whole is equal rather than a god. Might that have made a difference? Now that you mention it, it very well might. She would not have believed it necessary to defer to his will. But enough talk. It's time to put our theories to proof. Tell Alphano to disengage the restraints at ethereal dapples. I'm counting on you, Angelo. Yo, Angelo! Oh, such warmth. The frost that shrouded my soul dog began to thaw. What are these? Visions of days long forgotten. Of war with the men of Alec. Wherefore do such baleful memories return to me now? Could it be that the process of restoring a soul to its pre-tempered state is awakening ancient memories? Or might the opposite be true? If so, be helping her to recall the past. You might be able to speed her recovery. I cipher, she trusts you. Speak to her. Ask her to tell you of times past. Tiamat, tell me of times past. Tell me of Bahamut and the Asians. Ah, uh, Bahamut, my beloved. Vingus, my beloved. Would that the peace we found in Merasidia could have lasted for eternity. But alas, it was not to be. The Asians saw to that. In all creation, I knew of none more wicked. It was at the behest that the men of Alec came, first came out of Merasidia and to our home. The tale began when Bahamut and I left our father's side. We took wing in search of a place to make our eyrie. Beyond the southern ocean, we discovered a lush and fertile land. It would come to be known as Merasidia by the children of men. Their many years were to pass before they crossed the seas. Upon our arrival, we were welcomed by the peaceful people of the forest, kin to the trees. Surrounded by nature's bounty, Bahamut and I had found a place to raise our young. Can I just say, like, dragon children in this game are so cute. Fascinating. This correlates with the writings of the Charlian scholar Rurusha. She points, she posits that the man, that man first settled on the southern continent towards the end of the second astral era. Correctly, it would appear, if only she were with us to hear the tale from Tiamat herself. Again, Angelo. When first the children of man arrived on our shores, no foot did they set in those places over which we held dominion. Such was the fear of dragonkind. And as they kept their distance, so did we let them be. Yet as the days went by, ship after ship appeared upon the horizon, bearing ever more of the brethren, who divided the vast land amongst themselves. For a time they knew peace and, prospe and prosperity. But as the numbers grew, the smaller the share came to see. Soon they began to cover the territory. The fellows, ere long man fought man, blood was answered with blood, and none could see an end to the strife, until one day they came to us. Recognizing our wisdom, they entreated us to intercede in their conflicts. Bahamut agreed, and with him presiding over the affairs of men, the land knew peace once more. Alas, those golden days of harmony, too, were fated to end. For the men of Alex slew my beloved, and I, in my rage and sorrow, heeded the envenomed words of the Asians. The rest thou knowest only too well. But your tale doesn't have to end there. When you are free, we'll rid the world of the Asians together, and you and your beloved will have justice. Fine settlements, but you're almost spent, sentiments. 
I'll keep watch from above. If the treatment fails, run. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. I swear when this is over. Keep going, I say the magic is working. Well, I knew this wasn't going to be easy. No patient could have prepared me for treating a great worm. But we're close. I can feel it. And while I've only got a few more drops of ether left to give, if yours and Grah has this will work. And I believe I speak for both of us when I say that you may take as much as you require. Careful, I might hold you to that. All right, here I go! Feel it. The icon's grip grow with weak. Did it work? We won't know for certain until the shackles are removed. been subjected to the Allegan's dark arts, their flesh irrevocably altered. For such tortured souls, I fear there can be no salvation. But... Should you hearken unto my call, we shall fly together once more. But should you not, I shall grant you peace. Mm. Better to die than live as a tool of evil. Mm. You two would wish this, I know. And I shall do as I must. When that time comes, you won't be alone. We'll stand by you. She's in Thou hast my gratitude, little one. Alphano's ready. It's time. Do it. And let's hope the treatment Do worked it. as it should. Bahamut, 
My beloved. For vengeance and atonement, I rise. Your timing could not be better. Understood, we're on our way. It's Bahamut. He's been sighted over Pagolthan. Pagolthan. He flies for the largest amount of settlement in the region, at the head of a vast host, including dragons. Did you hear all that, Alpha? No. You'd best rejoin your comrades. I'll make my own way. Our enemy awaits. Shall we? Yeet! You're just gonna jump there and then, uh... It'd be funny if you just did a really big jump. I wanted to ride on the dragon- Oh wait, I have mid birds on. I can just- I can just ride on him. Oh, you want to do the dungeon with me? Uh, I'm uh, not entirely sure how to invite people for dungeons, but... But yeah, I'll figure it out. You can join me. Wait, but is Astinian a party member in this? Probably be faster if I do it with a real party. All right, to Pagolath. Go to your friends with right, right click character select to invite to party. Immortal flames arrive just in time to defend the defense of that with Marshal Tarupin. Is that? I can't tell Lala falls apart. Is that a uh, Lolorito or Papa Sean or a uh, Pee Pee Poo Poo or Marshall Tarupin? Oh, Rabon's adopted son. I thought uh, Pippin was Rabon's adopted son. Pippin Tarupin? Oh, that's... oh. Oh, I, I thought Pippin and Tarupin were different people. It's like, I was confused. There was one quest and they were calling Raubon Alden, and then I'm like, wait a minute, I thought that was Raubon, and then I'm like, oh wait, people typically have less names. Even... even all of these people... even all of the Scions have random last names. Like, Thancred is apparently Thancred Waters, but they might have only mentioned it, like, once. But I honestly don't know Uriage's last name, if he has one. Alright. 
can you maybe not lag right now? Is this gonna be a hard dungeon? Like, will party members yell at me if, uh, if I tank badly? Oh, Uriange Arugelt, that's his name? I don't know. Like, uh, the one that surprised me was, like, Loose Hexed, because I, I don't know, I don't know what I was expecting for her name, but Hex doesn't seem like a real last name. Okay, airship landing, airship landing. Wait, Augurelt, not Arugelt. You're not illiterate, you're just dyslexic. Oh, oh, this isn't... A dyslexic man walks into a bra. Ha 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 ha. Oh, we got here. Greetings. We've been expecting ye. Paggle fan. Alright. Uh, Joel, uh... Friendless. Uh, here you are. Right click. Invite to party. All right. Uh. All right. I don't think I can do it with. Oh, I don't have the average item level. Uh, it's okay. I have a, uh, I have a coffer in here. I think. Oh, but I are. Oh, fuck. Sorry, this might take a while. Uh, is there a? Uh... The Crystarium Gauntlets. I know, Mary at minimum item level moment. But... Yeah, I'm already wearing these, so, uh. What if I, uh. put these. <sighs> if I put them in, like, my Chocobo saddlebag, will that, uh. Well, that counts, but, uh... Okay, first of all, shut up. I will arrange this someday. Alright. Oh, now the thigh boots. Oh, the Crip Lurker gear? Uh... From the merchant in the plaza. I haven't, uh... Maybe later. I don't know. Uh... Okay, shut up! What am I doing? Uh, let's see. Alright, I'm gonna- I'm gonna do a little bit of, uh... Item tangoing. All right. I think I got uh, the Crystarium, Crystarium, Crystarium. No, I don't. It was the. Uh... What, what do I have equipped? The yeah, thigh boots, and then I'll just put them here. But then, what the fuck is the- oh, what are, why didn't, when did I get that? Uh... What about... now? There we go! 
Uh, but now I have to, uh, wait no. Yeah, but now I look stupid. I didn't put the entire set. And I, I don't have my entire old armor on, uh, and my glamour, so I'm gonna have to do this individually. I know, I know, uh. Wait, here. No, I just, I haven't put this in the glamour chest yet, because I don't have the whole set. Alright, this is good for now. Alright, will this be enough? Thank you for saving you from an aneurysm. Uh, Alright. Uh, 490? I thought it said 480! Fuck. Hold on. Hold on! Uh, what can I... What can I put in... All right, there we go. There we go. Now we're ready. All right, uh, don't bully me. Girl. It's getting in. <laughs> Still won't. You know what? That's the exact purpose. Should I just start run ahead? They're not following me. Right, there might be a lot of lag here, so I'm sorry. because he has no idea what it means and I would like prank him and just thinking it's like not a great thing to say. There's still the other wizard.
I guess sometime in my break, I'm gonna actually uh, get rid of all the uh, ridiculous stuff in my settings. Alright, looks like we're just running ahead. Oh no, we got them all, uh... Is, can I handle this pull? Or are you just attacking them? In the way? See, I'm pretending I'm an advanced tank, but I still don't know what I'm doing just because this is my first time in this mission. If I was doing a... Who's the airy? I would be like, I know exactly what I'm doing, because I've done that with that. Alright, let's see The dragon saying glory be to Garlemald. I don't think that's a I don't think that's in character for dragons to say. That something must be wrong. You are not the tank. A lot of people here, so I should probably put the this on. I can't read chat right now. Are they are they insulting me? Are you telling me I don't know how to tank? This is why I don't like doing up. Dragman, I'm blaming you. Dragoon is bad at the game. I'm gonna be a Dragoon. I'm gonna be a Dragoon that's good at the game. Wait. Five fucking vulnerability shit. I did not notice that. Also, uh, Backseater is dead.
Oh, now I, now I kind of see what's going on with the lightning. I survived that. I really thought I wouldn't survive that. So thank you. Thank you for being a good healer. Right against the barrier of that dragon envelope. Ah, oh, fuck, I got vulnerability. It's only two this time. This is fine. This is fine. I'm going the wrong way. Fuck. I got what this. Took you so long. Stinian. The amounts are in trouble. Let's split up. <laughs> Thank you, Tiamat. And of course, this asshole is just going ahead. Glory be to Garlem. Oh, why did I? The more you think you're a good Final Fantasy player, the more insufferable the person you are. Wait. Emery! Good to see you. I'll protect you. Emery the Blue, that's what they call him in battle. to the wounded. Good luck, Emmerich. I love you. Oh, no, you don't. Also, I found Astinian. Say hi to Astinian when you get the chance. Oh, 
this lag. I gotta do this sometime when I'm not streaming so I can fully experience it. I don't know why I wasted all of that just on two dragons. Bunch of no, there's a cannon here. It must be the real enemy. The magic tech for I think. I thought he said miserable pun. Strike at the enemy's heart. Vulnerability, this is fine. All right, oh. I hope Emmerich's doing all right.
Oh, I gotta, I gotta take a dragon. Sorry. I got it. I'm here. Oh, this is cool. Fuck. Fuck, this is cool. I'm back. Sorry, I'm late. Bahamut. He looks cool. Oh fuck yeah, here he is! Here he is! Man, look, a Sinian riding on a dragon. That is some real character development. He used to hate dragons. Too much. Sorry, I was watching cutscene. I'm here. Thank you for waiting for me. I was half expecting the stack is a five hit. You know what, I'm just gonna... What if I short him? Ah, fuck. <laughs> Please don't. I'm not going to, that was a joke. I don't- I don't actually shirk people because, uh... They would kick me, and I actually want to beat this. Uh, it's Mega Flare. Uh, I have no idea what Mega Flare does. Uh, that apparently. Uh, they're just summon giant buttholes on the floor.
Uh, what do I stand? What do I stand for this? Not here, not here, not here. Uh, right here. I'm good. Give me flare. Right here. Okay. Is is this a good spot to uh do LD two? Because I have one. Don't LB as a tank. But I have it! I have one! Oh, uh, listen, I'll have to know my LB3 really came in handy uh, during the What's His Face fight, Elizabeth fight. Oh, fuck. I got me two stacks. Or one, just one more stack. Yeah, All right, we're so close. We can do it. Alright. Thank you, Shagman. And thank you for the uh, other guy, but don't, not thanks to the other guy, who uh, within five seconds insulted my tanking and then proceeded to suck as a dragoon. I don't really care about the gear right now, so I'm just gonna leave. That's the Burger King Crown experience. <sighs> Hope Emmerich's doing alright. Estinian. Children of man, the shade of my beloved is no more, and I, I shall be forever in your death. They talk mad shit and then proceed to floor today. By your deeds are we set free, and free we shall remain, as long as I draw breath. Never again shall the dragons of Mericidia hearken to the lies of the Asians. This I vow. Thank you for your help. Noble warriors, the dragons chose their friends well. Long have our peoples waged war, but no more. Your fallen lie beside our own. By our words and deeds shall we honor their sacrifice. We would be proud to call you our allies.
The enemy of our enemy is our friend. And you have proven yourselves worthy of our trust. It is the Garleans who are deserving of our fury. So true. I shall see that my brethren learn the truth of this day, and rally as many as possible to the cause, till we meet again. Thank you. And thus did we make allies of the Amalja. Got the Amalja, we got the Kobold. It would certainly seem that way. The Sultana will be pleased. Let's go and give her the good news, shall we? What's going on here? That was a cool uh, desktop wallpaper. Sometime early inside the Paglathan Tower. Oh shit, it's Arenvald. The guy who I always forget about. Oh, what the fuck? What in Ralga's name happened here? The gods only know. But you can bet these poor sods aren't here by choice. Quickly! We've got to get them free! Done. It's too late for them. We're leaving now. I want to play as Cordola. Now, if it was a duty, they would let me know ahead of time. And they'd probably make me play as people. Wait, Lunar Ifrit? No! No! Don't you dare! We came together and we're leaving together! And we're coming together later. And by come, I mean come. I want to bang for Dola. We did it. Stinian just in the corner. But that, that's me. I should have known you'd be the one to end it. Maybe not, you know, we'll find some other solace. Well, it would be too much to hope that was in the last of Fan Daniel. We have dealt a, the schemes a telling blow this day, and that alone is cause to celebrate. And celebrate I will, when we ever see the of Arenbald's safe return. All right, uh, you don't have to be in my party anymore if you don't want to. Yeah. Uh, Stanny, and you can uh, join the circle if you want, but I completely understand if you don't want to. Brave Scions. Would that I could treat your heroes welcome, but I bear urgent news from the frontisserie. The rotisserie. Your grace, whatever is the matter. As our troops withdrew from Paglathan, they came upon two scouts sent to the nearby tower. 
I have yet to hear a full account, but it seems that one of them, your friend, I believe, has been wounded and was being dragged away by the other. Oh, no. I must go. Forgive me, your grace. Can you tell us all of Ehrenwald's condition, your grace? The wounded scout? Not save that his grave. The chirurgeons tend to him even as we speak. We'll just give a shout if you need a semi-competent healer again. That's more than most healers. Oh, the cat is alive. The infirmary must be in inundated with the wounded. If all of us go, we'll only get underfoot. I cipher Estinian. Would you mind going after Alphano? He may need some support from someone other than me. All right. <laughs> Thank you. The rest of us will see the relevant people know what took place in Pagothan. Well, Emmerich was in Pagothan, so... I'm not missing on an Emmerich meeting, so that's good, and I get to spend time with the Stinian, but hopefully I get to be there when they reunite. Come on. Uh, the Frontisserie Chirurgeon. Where the fuck am I? The Alchemist Guild? Uh... I think this one is, uh, either way. This city is so confusing. This is where I'm supposed to go. And Estinian is just lurking right here. He is a cat. I take it both no is fond of our world. I know how he feels, but how it working isn't going to help anyone. You had better have a word. I feel jealous. I thought I was the guy that Alphino was thirsty for. Who the fuck is this acting guy? Another one put to see the lad in silver armor? Master Domeo is a tiny time as we speak, if you'd be so kind as to wait. What does Master Domeo say? Tell me his exact words. Let the Chirurgeons do their work. But, you're right, forgive me. When we set our farewells to Ehrenwald, I was afraid that something like this might happen, but now that it has, all we can do is wait. For Dola. Have you been waiting here all this time? We have done what we can. The rest is up to him. May we see him? I do not think that wise. You must let him sleep. Is his face all fucked up? Thank you for bringing him back. He owes you his life. I just... 
I, I just wish I had been there. Perhaps... I don't know. Perhaps I could have... Could have what? Got tempered? Don't flatter yourself. You can't save everyone. No one can. Not even the warrior of bloody light. She's right. People die all the time. For no good reason. And those who take up the sword die quicker than most. If you're going to shed a tear every time a soldier falls on the battlefield, you'd best stay away. It's no place for the weak of heart. It may be that victory cannot be won without cost. But all life is precious, and I refuse to shrug at its loss. All life is precious! <laughs> oh, you need to grow up, little man, before your sparkling ideals get everyone killed. You're right. He is idealistic. But the world has more than its fair share of realists, like you and me. It's people like him who dare to dream that things could be better and make it happen against all the odds. They are the ones whose names live on forever. The heroes. Yep. Fordola is like the only Stormblood character that I actively actually really like. The battlefield's littered with would-be heroes. At this rate, you lot will be next. And what'll become of your precious dreams then? They'll be gone. Like dust on the wind. Is that because she's angsty? It's because her whole backstory is just like... She was oppressed, so she had to so turn easily. to just pleasing the oppressors super hard in order to survive, and because of that, just becoming the villain and then going through this redemption. I just think that's way more interesting than, like, whatever the fuck Lise was doing. Dreams worth fighting for don't die so easily. She's a real character. Alpha no, just kind of stuff. Yeah, she has a reason to do what she did. Hey, Alfie. You alright? I know, I know. There's nothing more I can do here. Come on, let us rejoin the others. Ahem. Her grace invites the signs of the, the signs of the Seven Dawn to join her in the fragrant chamber. Your comrades have already arrived. Will the three be joining then? We will. Do you want to come to us, Tinian, or are you just going to sit there and... All right. I feel like I have more of a camaraderie with the Stinian than I do with the rest of the Scions. Is that weird? Except for Alpha No, but I just feel like we've. I don't know. I'm just. I'm. Heaven's Word is where most Your of my grace. character development was. Pray, forgive us our lateness. Think not of that. I understand a close comrade of yours was wounded in the line of duty. Arunvold. It was at the Alliance's behest that he risked all, and we are grieved to hear of his condition. Rest assured, he will receive the finest care our chirurgeons can provide. On that you have my word. Now, we would share with you the findings of the mission. 
It's Jenny and Alphano, Andy Stoller are the only scions that aren't parano parasocial with the world of light. Yes, I, I agree with that. Pippin, pray relate to our guests the details of Fordola's account. First Bahamut, now Ifrit. Or Luna Ifrit, as Fan Daniel would doubtless have it. I was expecting Thancred to like have a stronger relationship with the Warrior of Light based on uh, how the fandom treats him, but he's like kind of surprisingly distant. Like there was a point where I thought out of if all of the characters I I could end up being thirsty for, I thought it might have been Thancred, but then uh, Thancred came back and I don't know he just I don't know I'm not I'm not sexually attracted to his personality Tis now all but certain that the towers were conceived to facilitate the summoning of primals by those imprisoned within my connection with Thancred is raising green <laughs> less certain is the means by which the Telophoroi constrain the wills of said entities to enact their designs in defiance of the pleas of their victims. I mean, I mean, I'm not, I'm not blaming anyone who likes to ship their warrior of light with Thancred. I mean, I mean, the only thing I am a little weirded out by is there are a lot of people who ship their warrior of light with uh, Xenos, and I think they might need to, like, get their brains scanned, because something might be wrong with them. Mayhap they do not. If mere proximity to the towers is enough to make loyal servants of the Empire's mortal enemies, it stands to reason that the same is true for those held captive. They invoke their gods for the good of Garlemald, and in their disturbed state of mind, Summon a primal whose form reflects their own alteration. I mean, I can even... Xenos fuckers are not real people. They're just into thick, juicy ass. I mean, I can even understand, uh... Yeah, no, I'm beginning to understand Emmett Salk, because, uh... Since, uh, apparently I was an Asian in my past life, and Emmett Salk had, uh, strong feelings for them, like, that's how that could have fallen into place. So I understand that at least. Uh, people just like Xenos because they think he's hot. It all begins to make sense. Upon closer inspection, I realize that the towers bear a striking resemblance to a much larger structure which Uriange and I observed from afar during our visit to the Imperial capital. Assuming it too is capable of tempering those in its immediate vicinity, it would go some way to explain the swiftness with which the Telophoroi managed to rally so many Imperials to their cause. While the situation in Garlemald is indeed troubling, I fear we have more immediate concerns. Horny people on the internet when the psychopathic individual is hot. Okay, so I like... I saw this uh, meme on the internet that... I don't feel like looking for it again, but it was kind of just like comparing Xenos fangirls and Emmett uh, fangirls, and it was just like, Xenos is like, I've committed war crimes. Oh, you're such a bad guy. And then uh, Emmett Selk was like, I had a tragic childhood and I committed war crimes. Oh my god, he's such a good villain. And I mean, that that's not true at all. Like, but it, it was still kind of funny, and it was obviously just Xenos people being horny. Ifrit was not the only primal summoned. At approximately the same time, observers at several other towers bore witness to the emergence of further such entities. Does this mean we get Lunar King Mogglemog? Emmet Salk is a good character. For a blessing. None appear to wield aught approaching the destruction of the Why do girls like war Bahamut, criminals? 
and the grand companies are moving to deal with the threat even as we speak. Like, I could fix Yotsuyu, but then I don't want to fix her. Can I be one so I can get a wife? Uh, yeah, a nuke Bosnia, get a wife. You need only tell me where they are, Your Grace. Though we are aware that the task will not be easy, we would call upon the Scions only as a last resort. Pray, conserve your strength for now. You'll see who got fixed. After all, it was not so very long ago that you rid us of Bahamut. On which note, I am pleased to report that our talks with the Amalja have reached an agreeable conclusion. They have pledged their full support to our cause. It is our hope that this historic agreement will encourage other tribes to join us at the negotiating table. And I know that I speak for all of the Allied leaders when I say that we will welcome them with open arms at such time as they do. Of course, this was only made possible by the feats of heroism performed at Pagelfarn. Better ingredients, Moreover, better pizza, not Pagelfarn. not the sacrifices of those fallen in battle to have been made in vain. As hope leads to victory, shall victory lead to a new dawn for Eorzea. May these words ever be our guide, Your Grace. Now, if you will forgive me, I must consult with the Syndicate on the matter of our new allies' integration. Till next we meet, my friends, I bid you safe travels and blessed <laughs> respite. Send this man to the penis explosion chamber. Take a long drag from her pipe. God, my childhood sucked. Yeah, uh, Yotsuyu is controversial, to say the least. I can't say I have a super strong feelings for or against her, but I feel like Fordola is the better tragic childhood villain. Right then. Unless anyone has any objections, I think it's about time you return to the Rising Stones. And that includes you, Alphano. Ehrenwald is in good hands here. They say she's a mommy, but I think she's more of a step mommy. Like a step on me mommy. On one hand, I understand. On the other, I don't like the idea of putting my dick flattened. <laughs> Babe, it's 4 p.m. Time for your dick flattening. Of course, he would doubtless mock me for pacing about the infirmary. Justinian mocked you too when that exact thing happened, and he turned out fine. Let us retire then, that we might regain our strength and readiness for the coming challenges. If all are in agreement, then, I shall let Kryle know to expect us. A hot bath and a hearty meal shouldn't be beyond arranging to put the time available. It would be good to be home. I have some thinking to do. Yes, I'll try asking him, and thank you. I shall look forward to it. My comrades eagerly await her return, and Kral in particular has a few matters she is keen to discuss. One of which concerns you, Estinian, believe it or not. You will join us, won't you? Fine. Really? I thought you said you were avoiding the Baldesian woman. If I refused, she would only pursue me. Let's get this over with, shall we? It's always so disappointing whenever uh, Estinian walks away because I know he can just jump away. 
Elusive jump into the next room. You know, I just realized something. Mats means materials. I thought this whole time, like, people were just mining for mats, like carpeting, and it was something that I didn't understand. But now I realize that I just mean materials. I really shouldn't complain about Estinian being stupid because I'm just as stupid. Welcome back. I expect you must all be exhausted. Ere you take your rest, however, we trade I would beg here. a moment of your time. Thanks to Arnvold's selfless efforts, we may now be confident that we understand the function of the towers. But many questions remain regarding the reason for the summonings, and what lurks behind the looming edifice in Garlemald. Until such questions are answered, we will struggle to devise an effective strategy for thwarting the Telophroi's stated aim. Nothing less than the destruction of this star. And so, given the gravity of the situation, I move that we Estidian is a himbo. I knew from the first moment I met him that he was a himbo. The looming phallus in Garlemald. It is possible the ancient knowledge preserved within their archives may hide a clue to our enemy's methods. But given Charlian's established policy of non-intervention, our former colleagues are not like to aid us in its discovery. Oh, I well remember what they're like. The Forum's barefaced refusal to assist you in the days prior to the Calamity must rank as Charlian's most shameful act since the Exodus. You're probably not the only one who thought it would be a villain. I know people who uh, thought that Emmerich would be a villain just because he's like a leader, but uh, he's actually the kindest, sweetest man you will ever meet. But were the final days to be reenacted, it would spell doom for us all. Surely even they cannot turn a blind eye to that. Where does Rianger fall on the himbo alignment chart? Uh, I wouldn't consider him himbo. Uh, he's kind of an antagonist in the Dragoon quests. I mean, due to a misunderstanding, but... And due to the... Uh, I don't know. I mean, kind of, but... I trust we are all of the same mind on this matter. Urgent as it seemed, I took the liberty of petitioning the Alliance for leave to act as Eorzea's emissary, and have since received their blessing. I presume your role as a student of Baldessian will carry some weight with the Forum? One can but hope. If truth be told, our organization has been a shadow of its former self ever since the disappearance of the Isle of Val. But the name does still retain some degree of prestige. I only pray it will be enough. If there are no objections, I shall depart for Charlian at once. But before I do, I should also mention the other matter to which I would devote some time during my stay. After hearing what transpired in the first, I began to question the true nature of Heidelin's blessing, a topic I have discussed at some length with Yishtola. I mean, also, I mean, the thing about Rianje is that in order to be a himbo, I think you gotta be a hunk first. And he's definitely not a hunk, he's just a femboy. He's a male we wife. We were wondering. When was the last time Heidelin spoke to you directly? Near the end of the Dragon Song War.
when you regained her blessing, was it not? But never since, not in all your time in the first, when you faced the unsundered, the very heart of Zodiac. History shows us that Hydaelyn is able to awaken the echo in her chosen, convey her will directly, and grant the blessing of light. To our knowledge, however, she has not sought to intervene in man's affairs for some considerable time. She's like the Aedra. It's fucking yoked for an elf. Might not the explanation for that lie with her choice of champion? Mayhap she is content to trust in her judgment. I mean, it's just... Well, Ellison have the same body, and Riage is the only one to actually bear his arms. Mayhap she is. But following my initial discussion with Kryl, I made inquiries of my own. And as far as I am able to tell, Hydaelyn has not made her will known to anyone. I think, uh, canonically, Riange would have skinny little noodle arms. Well, they had to be strong enough to pick up Moonbrita before she turned to dust. No, and then Brito was definitely just absolutely dominating Rianger, definitely pegging him. During my time in the first, the Oracle of Light spoke to me through Reem. But that was not the will of Hyden. It was Minfilia herself. Indeed. And while she and Hydaelyn were inextricably linked, Minfilia yet acted of her own volition. A messenger, yes, but one who spoke with her own voice. I wonder, could Hydaelyn's silence suggest the presence of some disruptive force, perhaps? Some obstacle to communication? While I share Uriangé's high opinion of your conduct... Thank you. I see no reason why she would deny you her guidance altogether. Then again, who am I to say? The fact is, we simply don't know. But if the explanation is to be found anywhere, I can think of worse places to look than the archives of Charlian, and their research on the Ethereal Sea in particular. Resolved though I am to go, believe me when I say that I take no pleasure in the thought of leaving you a member short. Now of all times. To be fair... Ever since everyone got revived, I don't think you've really been doing much, and Tataru is kind of the token fill around here, so. Estinian, we stand on the eve of a struggle that will decide the fate of this star, one in which we Scions may play a telling part. Oh. Yet we are. It's happening! It's happening! Number. It's fucking happening! And so I must ask you again: Will you join us? You see the world the way you want it to be. I see the world the way it Yo! is. Yo! Oh. Oh, that's just for team. Oh, the Eureka side area. Uh, I started you that, but I didn't never get turn very far. Back on those in need. Because I thought it was another quest. Never close your eyes to their suffering. And somehow, your deeds lend truth to your words giving the light to my doubts in so doing. Listen, I think we need a balance of optimism and realism in this group. I have seen others draw strength from your belief. In Ishgard, in Alamigo, you inspired them to stand up and fight. To win, no less. And even when you lost those you held dear, you carried their spirit with you and made their memory your guiding light. The burden of so many hopes and dreams would be too heavy for most to bear. But you bear it willingly, as you have shown me. Some dreams are too important to let go. If you have need of my strength, it's yours. After all you've done, how could I refuse? 
Oh, it's official. He's one of us now. Thank you, Estinian. Whatever challenges Could I not love us, I shall not falter. Love Estinian. He's word. like my second or third favorite character. He's gonna quit after he spends five and seconds now with Raho. Though. I may bid you farewell. Safe in the knowledge that all is as it should be. In this little corner of the world, at least. You will be sorely missed. Tread warily in Charlian, and do try not to let the Forum embroil you in their politics. A forlorn hope, I know, given the individuals involved. I shall do my very best. Farewell. Be safe. I think that I'm eventually going to get to go to Charlian, so I know this won't be the last I see of her. Meanwhile, in the Imperial Palace. Does Charlian really exist? Oh, is it like a Stanford or a Finland? Where it's just a conspiracy? Me and Oblivion gathering all of my modded weapons. Well... Does this one meet with your approval? Apparently not. Or... Could it be that you're still upset about the dragons? Alright, can I say... I think Fan Daniel is really annoying so far. It, it doesn't help that I thought the character he was... his body is inhabiting only Fan Daniel. I thought the character he was inhabiting was also really annoying, but I don't know, I just... he pisses me off. You are unwise to remind me of so costly a failure. I know everyone thinks he's an annoying bitch. Okay. It will not affect our plans, I trust. It's not just one of my bad takes. Oh, hardly at all. Though, admittedly, the chances of us being able to procure any more Merisidian dragons are rather slimmer following Tiamat's reappearance. Oh, but the seeds have been sown, my lord. We have only to wait for them to quicken. Speaking of preparations, is it safe to assume that you will be ready to control you know what? The hour draws nigh. This nation, forged for Asian ends, will finally prove its worth. <laughs> A mighty empire, now no more than an instrument of this star's destruction. What a pleasure it will be to put it to use. This literally looks like the time I installed, like, the flat fantasy weapon mods into Oblivion, and then they just made, like, a dark room with all of the weapons just on the floor. There was, like, Masamunis, there was Keyblades, there was just, uh, Gunblades. It's just fucking funny, and now it's here in a real game. Which brings me back to our earlier topic. My lord, while I appreciate that it is not an easy decision, it really is past time you chose your weapon. There is one that I have been meaning to test. Well, well. Not quite what I was expecting, though I will say, it does seem rather apt. Is it gonna be like an, oh my god, this weapon? Is it gonna be an AK-47? New class.
Oh, we don't get to find out yet? I can tell you're itching to say- Xenos is why you don't like a class of certain people who play in it. Pick your new murder stake, but don't show the camera so we can figure out the next DPS job for next expansion. D does she though? Like, I feel like Alize always puts words in my mouth. She's like, oh, you don't want to see uh, Emmer at the Alliance meeting. You want to go help me on a stupid fetch quest with Boy. I'm like, no. All right, let's just say I managed to squeeze in some uh, quality pegging time. Lunar primals have been popping up all over the place. Meanwhile, talks of the beast tribes are going even better than expected. I'm going to suplex that dumb teenager. Quality pegging time sounds nice. No, it's now canon that I use my tail to peg. An invitation from the Alliance? A council meeting is due to be held in Alamigo at your offense. Alize, please do not draw me away from it. Yeah, this, sound, this sounds like a, a good cutscene opportunity. Of course, I never miss the opportunity to uh, spend some time with the man that I spend quality pegging time with. I'm attending. I'm attending, I'm attending, I'm attending, I'm attending. I'm attending. Oh, oh, you don't, you don't want to see Emmerich again. Of course. God, I was so fucking afraid that Alizé was just going to be like, No, you have to help me with another quest. By level Black Mage, I get to see Emmerich and Endwalker. Don't spoil it, but I really hope you don't mean it means I don't see him otherwise. Don't tell me otherwise because I don't like spoilers like that, but... Contemplative silence. Oh, look, we're across from each other again! But Agra is still next to me. Oh, and fucking Ian's here. But I'm, I'm across from Emmerich again, that makes me happy. Oh, and uh, even the Seltzer, and, and the Bugman, and the Sahagan, and the, uh, that guy, and the Vanu, and... Esteemed guests, you honor us with your presence. As there is much to discuss, let us begin. 
Information on our taken brethren you have, yes? Hear it, we would! Forgiveness these featherless ones are! With rivers of blood shall they pay! Freed our people must be! We too would see your kin liberated. But ere we attempt their rescue, we must first find a means to negate the risk of tempering. Without that, we will be unable even to approach the towers, let alone contend with their defenders. If all else fails, I've always found cannonballs quite effective. Merle is so base. <sighs> and what of the prisoners? Will you see them slaughtered? Do you see think a lot for of a moment. On tales? Ponder, consider, think. If Merlewib truly intended to bombard the towers, she would have done so by now. Remember, we came here to find a solution together, did we not? Yistola spoke of defenders. I but offered a means to clear a path, should you require it. Given the enemy's capabilities, we will all need to play our part if we are to have any chance of success. For if any here should give less than their best, it will be to the cost of every living being on this star. A paragon, the Empire, our very gods. How can we hope to prevail against such odds? That our foe is formidable, none would deny. But our strengths are many and varied. In this chamber, I see masters of strategy, masters of magic, masters of the land, the air, and the sea. And together, there is nothing in creation we cannot overcome. Because you see, before I met Icypher, I had no idea that I was into pegging. She has taught me so much. I beg your pardon? Beg your pardon. What is it, Sir Walker? Do not express your passion thus. <laughs> that, was, that was actually really funny. A little crispy will have deals, perhaps. <laughs> so we get him a bucket of water so, so he can say, stick his head in there I'm and we can understand him. Counted amongst the Aussies, Phyllis. <laughs> we, Sir Hagen, will play our part. We kobolds have not forgotten the crimes the Overdwellers committed against us in the past. But today we look to the future as allies united in purpose. Ah! Make mock of the Ixel the Paragon does! Turns kin into puppets! Pits brother against brother. Free them from his grasp, we shall. As Patriarch Zadar will attest, the Scions have granted us a means to free your brethren from their thraldom. This boon we will gladly share, that your people might never be enslaved again. We accept, we accept! Praise me! It's taken a while, but I do believe we might be one step closer to a world without primals. Would that Minfilia were here to see it? All is on about Minfilia. We still have a long way to go, and we're going to need a lot more Porxies. But we're moving in the right direction. If I may have your attention, there is one other point I would like to raise. 
as we can all agree, freeing those held captive must take precedence over she every other dead concern. Yes, I know. But experience has taught us that none save those with the capacity to resist tempering can hope to enter the towers unscathed. And even once inside, a still greater threat may yet await them, that which we call a primal. Needless to say, if we are to succeed, She's engaging with such foes can only ever be considered a last resort. And so I move that we seek to prevent them from being summoned in the first place. Yes! Both prayer and ether are needed for the ritual. Should either one be denied, the summoning would fail. Indeed. And so we must endeavor to discover the source of the ether on which the process depends. Do so, and it may present a way to halt the summonings, or perhaps even neutralize the towers entirely. A promising proposal. While you are conducting your investigations, however, we will need to remain vigilant, lest the Talophoroi commit further abductions and summon primals ere we have the means to prevent them. To stand a better chance of keeping our enemy at bay, we would do well to coordinate our defensive efforts, sending reinforcements to assist our neighbors when needed. We, Amalja, would have been overwhelmed were it not for our newfound allies. But say the word, and we shall come. I see we are all in accord. But what are we to call this proud fellowship of ours? I submit that the honor of naming it should go to the Scion whose brave efforts have done so much to unite Eorzea. What say you, my friend? That is so in love with me. I would call it... One moment, please. Hold on, hold on. One moment, please. Might I suggest the Grand Company of Aeorzea? Who's gonna say that? I remember a certain Alan someone Day, pondering it once upon a time, idea. and it seems as fitting a name as any. A fine choice, for there is none here who does not love Aeorzea. Aye, in that we shall ever be united. United in our gratitude for the realm that gave us life. Then let it be recorded that on this day she the jealous grand of me that Amaric is getting all my attention. Alfie, why are you crying? How long have we dreamed of this moment? And now that it's here, I... Oh, forgive me. Might we speak outside? God, Emmerich is just so in love with me. So cute. Well, now that we're out of earshot of our other delegates, I'm going forgive me if I speak my mind. Let me begin by saying that I've dreamed of this day since the moment I first set foot upon these shores, and that I was as heartened as anyone to see the people of Aeolia pledge their solidarity, yet even as they uttered their declarations. All I could think about was the conflict to come, of the sacrifices that will be made and the lives lost, inevitabilities that I still struggle to accept. But at least now there is hope. The formation of the Grand Company of Eorzea is the first step, the first of many. Many and more.
Elder Seeds, Elder Seeds, Elder Sneeds here. How might we be of service? I seek Master Alfner's assistance in a matter involving Radania's neighbors, the Sylphs. I know that you and yours have kept a weather eye upon the crystal trade, the better to predict the coming of the primals, so you will be familiar with the Sylphs of the Ashcrown Consortium. Through their dealings, they have cultivated relations not only with the city-states, but many other communities besides. Communities such as the Beast Tribes. Just so, it is our hope that we, make, that we may make use of the Sylphs' established lines of communication to coordinate the efforts of our new fellowship. Yet there remain certain practical differences between a trade consortium and a grand company. If the Sylphs are to perform their task efficiently, they will require the Council of One First and the operational aspects of an armed force. An armed force founded with the self-same goal in mind, no less. The Crystal Braves, yes. Forgive me, Master Alphano. I know that it was a painful chapter of your life, but the experience may yet be made to serve the realm. In my hubris, I plotted a course for the Crystal Braves, which stretched far beyond the Order's initial conception. One intended to pave way for the founding of what I intended to call the Grand Company of Eorzea. But my plans all came to naught. Built upon a frail foundation of lofty ideals, the Order was doomed from the first to collapse under the weight of more worldly interests. And I have no wish to see this new endeavor suffer the same fate. Mayhap I ask too much of you. Not at all. You may count upon my assistance for what little it is worth. By your leave, I shall prepare a report, including a list of recommendations drawing on the lessons I learned from the failure of the Crystal Braves. You have my gratitude, Master Alphano, and my trust. When your report is ready, pray share it directly with the Sylphs. With your guidance and the earnest efforts of every godly soul gathered here this day, I have no doubt that our fellowship shall emerge from the shadow of the Telephoroi and flourish. Until next we meet, my friends. Before committing anything to writing, there are a number of people whose thoughts I should like to hear. Former Braves, you understand. Might you join me in seeking them out? I can't think of an excuse not to, so yes. Use the pegging excuse, but... Oh. So it's the plan, brother mine, of its first and does People talk, people talk. I see. You think the answer would tell us something about the next that has been? Just a question. How much longer is pre and Walker? Just curious. And like, is it possible that I could get through it in like the next two hours? It just seems like there's a lot we have going on and I don't know how much of that will be solved in a actual Endwalker. Oh, that's who real is. The one with the Zell tattoo on his face. The Mike Tyson. And now I'm tired of reading, so I'm not going to read all this dialogue out loud.
Why do you think the Crystal Braves ended in failure? Alright, so, uh... While our ranks comprise a diverse range of people, each with their own individual strengths, we are all united in purpose. Gridania? I have not been in Gridania for a hot minute, so... Man, these, these past three hours have gone by pretty fast. That's because I'm spending it with characters I actually like. Also, I love how, like, Hien just wasn't voiced. Like, have we all just agreed that we all hate him now? Or that they just made him too important in Stormblood? when he really did not have that much of a character. Hmm. The backup scions, uh, you mean like Hori Boulder? and all the people from the quests I haven't done yet. I mean, I haven't really done their uh, big side quests, so... I feel like in general, I'm not actually as attached to the Scions in general as maybe the game would like me to be. I mean, I just kind of, I feel the impression that I'm kind of like a sellsword to them, maybe. Not really a sellsword, but just like a, oh, I can use your skills, that's why we recruited you, and like, I don't have that same sense of bond that like I got from doing Heaven's Word. I don't understand why Catboy is here. It's been a while since we last spoke. Alize, you must come quickly. Oh, surely you have sent an envoy. I assume that is someone related to you. Oh, your father. Oh, uh, is this when I meet the twin's dad who's supposedly really hot?
Oh, now for the doctor. It's a place I haven't been in a while. Not since uh, pre-storm blood. I remember uh, that whole set of quests when I was just like... I was just uh, meeting Emmerich there and I had canon that we went on walks in the forest after our meetings. Because that's, that's what I do. That's... That's what I do. Welcome, Moir of Light. The Elder Seedseer and her woodland friends are waiting inside. Elder Seeds here. I thank you for granting me this audience. Honestly, not really meeting the expectations the hype has caused. I am Fortuno Levea, here in my capacity as representative of the Forum. I guess his voice is kind of sexy and. To be fair, I just met him, and I don't usually find people hot until I spend the entire expansion with them. It is I who should thank you, Master Fortuno, for journeying so far and so swiftly. Would that our first meeting could have been under happy you circumstances. Fuck Fortuno? You're gonna fuck his wife? Is his wife really hot? It has been too long, father. You look well. As do you both. Amelians will be glad to hear that you are taking care of yourselves. Okay. How is Mother? She misses you terribly, of course, but is otherwise a picture of health. Circumstances apart, Millions, my beloved. I'm grateful that our meeting has afforded me the chance to be reunited with my children at long last. And I believe I also owe you thanks for the hospitality you showed my father, Louis Wa, during his sojourn in Eorzea. All thanks we owe to him. It's in the, the days from prior the to the seventh umbral calamity. It was your father's tireless efforts which granted us a means to vanquish the primal. Were it not for him, our strength would have been quite spent by the time the Empire arrived. That Gridania still stands is in large part his achievement. He was a great man. He would doubtless have been moved to hear you say so. I must confess, however, that I opposed his decision to intervene. And my position remains unchanged. To chart the course of history, not to change it. I am familiar with the Charlian stance. It is more than that. It is our way of life. Who we are. But I came here not to deliver a lecture, but the Forum's answer to your request. Charlian will under no circumstances intervene in the conflict between Eorzea and the Garlian Empire. May I ask for what reason the Forum has come to this decision? The final days spell the end not only for Eorzea, but the entire world. 
The final days. Pray spare me your hyperbole. This conflict is no more than the latest in a series of petty squabbles between yourselves and Garlemald. One in which Charlian will take no part. <laughs> if the final days were truly upon us, we would know. If you know, it'll be too late. That's exactly what happened with COVID. The government hid it from us Father, forever. you must ask the Forum to reconsider. And then it was too late. You may feel safe on your little island across the waves, but if you imagine the Telophoroi will leave you be, you are mistaken. They mean to kill us all, themselves included. Alphano is right. We have seen what the enemy is capable of, the lengths to which they'll go. This is no time to turn a blind eye. If Eorzea falls, so too will Charlian. So if you truly love our homeland, you will join us. Now, before it's too late. I thought you knew better than to raise your voice to your elders. It seems I was wrong. Wrong to ever let you leave, Charlian. I consoled myself that your time abroad would instill in you some... Oh shit, he's a terrible father. Thancred, move over. But I see now that Eorzea has made fools of you both. Have you forgotten why it was that I so vehemently opposed your grandfather's departure? For all his wisdom, his only solution was to go to war. Death, devastation, ruin. Even those who claim victory are scarred for life. What prize could ever justify such sacrifice? It is the duty of the learned to avert such tragedy. By fanning the flames of war, you forsake all you once held dear. To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom. It is indolence. I see your friend shares your misguided ideals. But unlike her, you should know better. The fuck is that supposed to mean? By espousing such barbaric notions, you subvert the teachings of Charlian and place all we have worked for in jeopardy. Alfino, Alizé, as of this moment, you shall no longer bear the name of Leveilleur. Shit, he went from like a uh, zero to ten in terms of like she father. I thought he, I thought he was just gonna be like a normal dad. I, I thought he was gonna be like, oh, oh he's you know, their dad. That's kind of cute. He's just like piece of shit. What, father? How you choose to live your lives is no longer my concern. If you wish to walk the path of ruin, I will not stand in your way. Master Fulchino, while Charlian may have no intention of intervening in this conflict, we can still part as friends. Will you not stay and speak with us, that we might learn of Charlian's hopes for the morrow? See, she's like actually smart and level-headed and diplomatic. I have said what I came here to say. Any further discussion would be meaningless. Father! Wait! Don't bother, Alizé! How can you stand there and watch him walk away? How can you let this happen? Well, that did not go as planned. I'm sorry your father's a dick. 
so that's what he came here to say. Thank you for all fools for having to the temerity to defend ourselves against the Talonfroy. And as for the rest... Like it or not, this is the form's decision to watch from afar while Eorzea burns. Father was but the messenger. As he handed them the judgment, I could think of nothing to say that could possibly sway him. I still can't. To have prolonged the discussion would have changed little. For it is not only Master Fushinol who must be persuaded, but the Forum as a whole. For the decision was made ere your father crossed the sea. Nor is it like to be changed, and so we face the terror of to Lothroy without their aid. Forgive me, but they if they know it, then why, why would they... Okay. Let me? Hi, Sefer. Has Master Fortunal arrived yet? Uh, yeah, and he's a dick. Then I, it is as I feared. My efforts were in vain. I pleaded our case to as many forum members as I could, but they flatly refused to discuss the matter. No, that's not exactly true. I should rather say that they ignored every word I said on the subject, without exception. It was almost unnerving. Could it be that they're hiding something from us? That might go some way to explain Master Fortunal's performance? And he said that to them. I don't want to read all that. Destructed at every turn. Uh, please do. Over some pineapple juice. Oh, lemon, lemon muffin. I thought that was it. Why, why do I have to take this? Why can't I just? Uh... Oh, why can't I get the old pieces? Shalian's stance is indeed disappointing. We cannot allow ourselves to be distracted from the challenge before us. There is much and more to be done. I shall begin by sharing the forum's response with my counterparts of the Alliance. We have asked for the sounds. Grave tidings, walking ones! Grave, grave tidings! Tell me yourself, my gentle friend. What has occurred? The Lord you went... They're in Zulfatol. Oh, let me go. It's in this area. Go 
go down to New Gridania. Also looks like there's a little bit of lag, so I am sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, the very first thing we do when we see is, the very first thing his father did when I met him was uh, disown his kids. For Dola, what are you doing here? What is it? What are we doing? I was uh, going to Corinthus. I was... I must you keep dragging me away from him. Oh, he's back. Arnvold! I can't tell you how good it is to see you. Okay, is this guy actually like a supremely well-written character that I just missed completely by uh, ignoring Stormblood? It arrived a lot sooner than expected, eh? The day I craned my neck up at you. Oh. Uh... Only because you're sitting down. Unless... Oh my god, Alfie. He can't fucking stand up. Afraid so. The Chirurgeons say I may never walk again. Kind of. I don't know, I'm Come sorry. Come on, Alfie, no, it could be worse. Besides, I didn't come here to dampen the mood. Quite the opposite. It's because this game, like, keeps introducing new characters in order to take the place of other characters that had the same role. Like, like, Estinian was the guy that Alphino was, like, had an admiration slash crush on. And then Ehrenwald shows up and has, like, the exact same role. I was born with glass bones and paper skin. All I've ever wanted was to fight for a cause I believe in. But my fighting days are over. So I want you to fight in my stead. Be the hero I can't. I mean, I do get that Estinian had to go off and fight. I, I am no hero. This is probably just all my fault for ignoring uh, him. That's what they all say, though. No one ever calls themselves a hero. Even the ones who eat primals for breakfast. It's for others to decide. Alfino, you already are a hero. To me and countless others. We see you doing your damnedest to protect us all. And you're not alone, are you? There are people who believe in you, just as you believe in them. Shut up. Some things may have changed, but the adventure isn't over yet. You still have your arms. We could give you a, a mech. You could be like the grandpa from Spy Kids. I know what's at stake. And how many people are depending on you. But I believe in you. Believe that you'll see it through. That's why I'm entrusting my dreams to you. Like Abba and Owly once entrusted their dreams to me. There was a time when I would have borne the weight of such expectations without a second thought. But now, I know just how heavy that burden can be. To tell the truth, I'm beginning to wonder if I chose the right path. Sacrifices will inevitably be made for the sake of the ideals I uphold. 
Maybe yes. I am not the person I thought I was. The person you think I am. I wouldn't presume to tell you. But I will say this. In spite of everything, you've come this far. The road ahead might not always be clear, but you've never been one to give up or take the easy way out. And everything you do, you do for others. For a brighter future. I'm proud to call you my friend. Well, I've said my piece, so I'll let you go. I know you've got more important things to be doing. Just... give what I've said some thought, all right? I shall, my friend. And we will meet again soon, I promise. Nothing left for me to do but wave and smile. Pretty narrow view of what it means to be a hero, do you know that? You think they're all forged in the fires of battle? That it's all about being brave and killing villains? Alpha No and the others will carry on their fight. But theirs isn't the only one. There are other ways you can make a difference if you stop feeling sorry for yourself and put your bloody mind to it. There's not much chance of me living the quiet life with you around, is there? If you're content to twiddle your thumbs thinking of what might have been, that's your lookout. Then I reckon you've got some fight left in you. And I reckon you might be right. If there's a way I can still help my friends, I'll bloody well find it. Oh my god, who is, who is just... So much spam going on. Time, several cutscenes, and the battle. If you enter battle asso battles associated with other quests or log out from the game, their progress will be lost. Death unto dawn. Is this it? Is this the final battle? Should give Graha a country accent. <laughs> well, I'm a cat boy. I'm in love with you. I don't take too kindly to you, primal folk. My fellow Scions, as I am sure you will have heard, we can expect no help from Charlie, nor are we any closer to discerning the Telophoroi's grand design. And now, our adversary moves against us in unprecedented numbers, compelling us to answer in kind. The outlook, in short, is bleak. Yet though our foes are many, and we but few, we may still tip the balance in Eorzea's favor. Of course. We will do what we always do. Deal with the ones our allies can't. A less than daunting prospect, judging by your expression. 
Could it be that you've dispelled your lingering doubts, Alphino? Oh, I doubt I ever will. But as my friends have kindly reminded me, I have come this far, and that must count for something. Gods be good, Alphino. That's what we've been trying to tell you all along. For one so bright, you can be remarkably dim at times. There is such a thing as overthinking, you know. Just be do what I do and never think at all. No thing equal no sad. Might I suggest that we continue this conversation after the battle? It would appear that Talofaroi have already arrived. I'll do what I can to cure the Tempered, but they'll have to be incapacitated first. Have care, my friends, for none can say wherefore our think. foe did choose this fateful field to be our battleground. Whatever may transpire, pray grant him not the pleasure of deterring you. with no cross parts now. As for the assing, it's with the side of... I don't, I don't fucking care. Shut up, Ian. Primals are a target. Primary targets. Understood. I will not leave the science for long. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. I feel like this is gonna be terribly laggy. in that one section into Stormblood, and, uh, I just want to play as Emmerich, okay? Just let me have that. Alright, I'll go with you, Astinian. Alright, oh, this way. All of us, back together. Do it for Zell and Orchison. Their spirits are with us. What the fuck is this? What, what the fuck is this Settlers of Catan bullshit? Oh, I'm Alize, that's okay. Uh, 
the lag is bad. Keys, I forgot. I put more. Ah, now I gotta wait for that combo. I just gotta start casting. Oh, I can heal. Moments for respite. We gotta cure the tempered now, or send Angela to cure the tempered. Come on, uh, how do I? Oh, I gotta click on Angelo and then. Uh... Uh, what is that? Oh, it's you. You see that? The glyph, yes, how worried should we be? Listen well and judge for yourself. Though I can see ethereal currents, I had not thoroughly examined those that flow through the heart of Cartano, but now that I am here, things have become clear. The floods conceal an etheric confluence. 
like to the pillars of the Azim step, but greater in scale, far greater. The glyphs that Fen Daniel has conjured reach into his very midst, midst, and I believe I know their purpose. Should the Lunar Primus destroy them, it would spark a chain reaction with the potential to obliterate the confluence entirely. The resulting disruption to the flow of ether would sow chaos amongst the elements, prompting earthquakes, floods, and tempest floods, and I feel waste to the realm. That he would go so far cometh as little surprise. We must needs protect the confluence at all costs. Oh no! Oh. Oh, we gotta we gotta defend this, but uh, big guy is gonna come out and uh... oh fuck, is he gonna have pet skin? You didn't think I actually have to play as him? Were you lying about playing as Braha? I summon blue eyes white dragon! Go, oh, Exodia! Ishtola! Briange, So protect me! Tick sign, uh. Oh, there we go. Uh, thank you for lying about that. I mean, thank you, game, for not making me play as him. Like, what do I do? I just lick my butthole? Monitor. Fuck that up. I feel like I'm fucking this up and I'm gonna die. Best brace ourselves. Uh. Yeah, how do I fucking protect that? Now do I have to fucking start all that over? See, that's actual bullshit. Oh, I get to resume from Midway? That's good. Thank you, Nine. Oh yeah, I saw this one scene. I have no idea how to protect this thing, by the way. So can I use this to, uh... Oh, I can! I can heal it! That's it. Uh... I shall protect me. Should I just uh, focus on being a healer?
What? Who the fuck died? Why is Ariyaji such a bitch? <laughs> so fucking hard to play as. What if I just- what if all I did was heal? Yeah, look at me, I'm the master duelist! Okay, we get it, you are playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Never played. This is my first time playing Hero in this game ever. I shall protect you. Can I, uh... Okay, I can just, uh... Can I just focus on topping this thing up? Thank for doth require our aid! Away with you! Where do I go? Oh, I can go here. Confirm. How much does it have? How much does it have? Uh, it's good. Uh. Why can I only heal when I'm standing still? I don't heal! This is why I'm not a healer! A bank red is... <laughs> he 
you understand this? How do you how can you fucking tolerate this? Or is this just like the worst healing class ever? Everyone, go watch the stream. Mono's playing healer for the first time and she is failing. Oh, fuck. What? I got out of the way! I got out of the fucking way! Thankred's uh, tanking like you should. Oh no, I can't get out of the way. Ah, oh, fuck. It's so stressful. Oh, what the fuck? Never get out of that.
legends of punishment, it seems. In which case, I'd be glad to oblige him! Oh, is it over? Thank the fury. No, I do have to play as- Hey, why did you lie to me? You fucking lied to me. Alright. Oh, I- and I have to protect- uh, I have to heal- I have to be the healer again? Did it, like, change since you last did it? I don't have any AO- Oh, I do. I'm a black mage and a white mage. Ah. Well, how do, what do I have to attack? Uh. Oh, break. I mean, he actually sucks. That was a And now since I'm healing and there are only two people here and there's no tank, we're not passing a damage check. DPS check, or whatever you people call it. Can I break? Uh. Oh, fuck. I know, uh... No! Elise! Stay with me! Is this even possible? Don't have any MP!
that work? Do I just need to keep casting Gray? Uh, now do I, uh... Vulnerable. Do I have to go for the spider? Uh, we're, we're like the two weakest party members. Oh. Finally, the cool people. But if I have to protect that thing, uh, I have no healing abilities. Perhaps I can just draw them away from the top plants. It's only one vulnerability up, down, up. Can you solid or just do six, 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 six damage? Internal nail, so you can, uh, snatch it. I'll rip them out. I'll crush them. You're finished! Some help here? Thank you. Living shadow! It's like he's some little like shadow too. I'll draw him. Here? No. God! Fuck! This is fine. Where are the, where are the nails? Are the nails- do the nails just go? Alive? See, not once has a Stinian yelled at me for my tanking style, unlike that other Dragoon.
Oh, it's the car I just ran around. Stand here. Four? Got four stacks of vulnerability? That's fine. I think you're a little late. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the final boss. Oh, oh fuck, he, he summoned the big guns. He's literally summoning Nidhogg. Uh. I, I can't destroy these nails on my own, but... Uh. Oh, what's he doing? Final push, final push. Wait, I didn't have aggro on this entire time. I just tired thing without having aggro on. But I was just generating enough so these guys aren't as stupid players. Turn to me. How am I doing? Um, I'm lagging. I'm about to beat Lunar Ifrit, but uh, he's going a little crazy. But I got a city in that. That's how I'm doing. Uh, so after this, I'm taking like a week long break from streaming because I've been streaming every day for nine days. I can't fucking believe it. And I've been going like four to five hours each day, so this has been crazy. But I uh, hope you're doing well. Oh, it's you, a little bitch boy. And thus another plan. I don't care. Not that this changes. See, anything this is where understand. all the fangers are like, oh my god, Zeno thinks highly of me. It's canon. It's a canon ship. What's going on? You had a thief skill quest and have it bugged out for a while. I don't feel like you're loading from five levels ago. Uh, um, which Elder Scrolls? I'm assuming it's Elder Scrolls. Glory be to Garlemor. I have to cure it. Oh, no. Alpha, no. You try. You're trying to save everyone, and that is admirable. How fair the tempered. We've treated as many as we can. 
But some were beyond help. Oh, Oblivion. Oblivion Thieves Guild is based. Someday I'm going to stream it. Mer lives here. Oh, Rabon's here. Hane Sen is here. There he is. And there he is. Do not hang your head so, brave Scions. Though not all of our captured brethren could be saved, we are grateful for those whose minds have been restored. Yes, we have to appreciate the positive and not dwell on the negative so much. You could do no more, and that is enough. So please, hold your heads high. The final mission is bugged out. Oh, I should have been quicker, but I'll do better next time. I remember uh, uh, the fencing. Uh, I just remember the final mission had the boots that made you jump really far. And I thought that was pretty fun. Thank you for your kind words. They mean a lot. A victory at great cost. But a victory nonetheless. We must stay strong and press on. Isn't that right? Yes. One battle at a time. We'll get there. That Agreed. we will! What the fuck is that? It's the moon. Guys, it's the moon. It should be me standing with Emmerich and not a uh, him. Canonically, that's how it's happening. Canonically, that's how it's happening. I'm gonna recreate that in uh, G pose, but I don't know how to put 20 people in G pose. You know all of Dagoth's line, but we never see him in game. Dagoth is in Morrowind. I think I actually met the guy who sang this. Or if I didn't meet him, I, uh, I just saw him at a con. Oh, that was it. That was it. All right, let's uh, roll the credits. And afterwards, I think we can uh, watch the trailer for Endwalker. Oh, and I guess look at the art. Oh, your first message, I missed that. That's some badass Thankwood art. He looks like a 80 years old now. He looks his age here. Oh, Pankard is actually 80 years old. Oh, 
uh, be a Yu-Gi-Oh card master. Oh yeah, this game is very cool. Uh, the only problem is it doesn't get good until 20, 200 hours in. There's Amarik, there he is, he's in the credits, he's in the credits, he's in the credits, he's in the credits. He's also uh, the guy whose name I forgot from Xenoblade. I, I haven't played Xenoblade, I just know it because it's your wife, uh, it's your wife. Did I say this for like the karaoke contest at my local con in January? Alvis, that's his name. I watched a clip of his voice in a Xenoblade, and it's like weirdly high pitched. Yeah, Erinvold and uh, that guy, they have the same voice, and they're both uh, Gendry. I like Albus, even though I've never played it. If I play it and I hate Albus, I'll take that back, but... Speak with Albus! <laughs> Hello. Emmerich! Emmerich! We made it! Hold on, uh... Hug? It's, it's it's Emmerich, guys. It's 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 him. It's him. Uh, should I take a commemorative photo with him, even if I can't pose him with mods right now? Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, wait. Why did I why did I press tab? <laughs> I'm still hugging. All right, we're taking a commemorative photo right now, but only Merrick and I get to be in the photo. He's, uh... All right. I don't know what he's looking at, but, uh... Oh, I can click on him, so, uh, what do I, uh... Oh my god, I can! Uh, hold on, uh... What do I, uh... Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. Uh. But, uh, I'm going to... Our fallen friend. Alright. And I've heard this is illegal, so I'm just gonna... I like this filter. Crash everything, but uh, it'd be funny to just have like bank grid there. Yeah. Wait, no, I just start. Now he's looking at me like uh, the a loving boyfriend he is. Oh, and now Stinian has to talk to him. Now it's awkward. I'm just gonna. What did I? 
let's see what everyone has to say. And uh, let's voice them one last time. You should have seen my face when Lord Emmerich turned up on our doorstep. Did none of you think to send word he was bringing you home? Oh, you're not aware that we're actually uh, dating. So. At the close of the battle, when the clouds parted and the moon shone down on us all, I did not well express how I felt. Somehow, it seemed more a beginning than an ending. The temper that we're able to treat will be taken to the city-states for observation. As soon as the Alliance is satisfied that the fully recovered, they will be free to return home. It was decent of Lord Emmerich to bring us home aboard his airship. The gods only know how we would have squeezed this many people onto the Bonanza. <laughs> so he just showed us like, hey, want a ride? No, I was only talking to Eyesight for a bunch of I guess my car is big enough for you. Just any of you get into. I will recommend that the Alliance keep a close watch on Platino. But to Lufferoy may have failed in their attempt to destroy the conference this time. But there's not to stop them trying again. And uh, I'm going to test out my new Graha Tia voice. Uh, this is for you, Mikey. Throughout the battle, I could not shake the feeling that all present were performing for the amusement of Fan Daniel. Nor did his blithe reaction to this latest defeat give me cause to think otherwise. I can only conclude that such failures are of little consequence to his broader scheme, whatever it may be. The Cardinal Flat seemed fated to play a prominent role in the history of the realm, do they not? I wonder, might the abundance of ether that floweth through the region have led the Allegans to entomb Omega there? And finally... Many though the enemy were, their numbers consisted largely of tempered beastmen, with a few lunar primals to keep things interesting. The Guardians themselves ventured little and lost less. It has ever been the Empire's, but he had no loose with the battles, but even they would blush at the till off Roy's use of tempered slaves. I, I, that voice actually really hurts my voice, so I gotta find a new one for him. But, uh... I'm afraid to talk to him, because then I'm afraid he'll leave. Then I'll just, uh... Totally not summon him back using totally not legal mods. I trust you will enjoy a comfortable flight for the pride of the Iscardian fleet. Lest you worry, the Bonanza has been towed to a nearby location to be retrieved at your convenience. Oh, I got the tow! Thank you, Emmerich. Thank you. I've been talking for too long. My voice is very tired. You have thought of everything, Lord Emmerich, and may I see how much I appreciate the hospitality you afforded us on the way home. Think nothing of it. Our destination lay in the same direction, and it afforded me the perfect opportunity to learn who my errant friend had been since last we took his leave. It would seem you have finally found a place to settle down. <clears throat> I merely grew weary of wandering the Far East. You're in the Far East? We're turning to more serious matters. Well, the Telephoray had been driven from Cartano, like the bulk of the forces yet remain. On the evidence of the Grand Companies of Eorzea's first joint military operation, I, uh, however, I am confident that we have the potential to meet such threats head on, even we, without the aid of you and yours. As such, while our forces keep the Telephoray at bay, I would ask that you apply your talents to the task of neutralizing the towers. A sensible division of labor. While the towers remain, so too will the threat of the lunar primals. And given our expertise in the field of ethereology, we are better qualified to find the solution. That we are, especially should it happen to lie beyond the Alliance's dominion. There's a time and place for formal investigations, of course, but certain secrets are wont to hide where only enterprising individuals may venture. I cannot agree more. Then I'm better suited for the task, nor any upon whom I would rather rely. A 
On behalf of the Alliance, I thank you. We look forward to receiving any information you are able to uncover. And with that, I must take my leave. Should you have need of assistance, pray do not hesitate to ask. Fare you well, my friends. Thank you, my love. I'll see you soon, baby. I'll see you at home. We live together now. I confess, I'd have to be able to study the towers more closely, and I don't feel like reading this. My face is very tired. For me, the final days. Charlie Ann. Here are there, my lance will be ready. Alstinian's joining us! If it means I can have words with fortune, all. Only after I do. Meanwhile, in the Garlean capital. Sorry, I just really need to rest my voice. Oh, is this the new weapon? The, the scythe, that's what he chose? Or is that a different guy? No, it's him. It's a scythe. <laughs> Those Aorzeans certainly are a stubborn bunch. Though I suppose you knew that already. My plan to redirect the ether from Cartano came to a rather less than satisfactory conclusion. It was, in many respects, an abject failure. Which does, of course, raise the question of where we are going to procure the requisite amount. The obvious solution would be to draw on resources a little closer to home, though that would require our dreamer to dream a trifle more deeply. So be it. The dreamer will not complain. Then let us begin the preparations at once. With the gateway of the gods complete, all that remains is to gather the necessary ether, and our prize shall be within reach. has come to fulfill your heart's desire, my desire, to relieve those wretched creatures of their meaningless existence. No. I shall drink a sea of souls and gorge myself. See, it's the moon. the moon. The Asian planet is the moon. What have I been telling you? Then you shall come to me. Wait. All royal. Was he not introduced into Landwalker? And the stars shall bear witness to Sounds our final contest. Sounds a little crazy. Contest. Uh, he is a little crazy. Uh, Twitter loves him. I think he is a lame villain. You uh, missed the uh, coolest villain, sadly. Now we're stuck with that guy.
What am I doing here? As I thought, the ethereal currents have been disturbed here too. It was the same in Thanalan. Make that every location we surveyed. It was the same in Ishgard, but fortunately Emmerich's cock, which I thoroughly inspected, was not affected. And the strength of each current has diminished dramatically. Far more than could be attributed to a natural occurrence. Why did they voice this part, but not the last part with Emmerich? They couldn't bother to pay his voice actor a few hundred dollars more. What tidings bringest thou from Dravania? We took a number of readings, and noticed that the closer we were to the tower, the lower the etheric density became. In short... I hope they just headcanon, or I can just headcanon where I was, and they don't make a difference, so I can say that I was just looking at Ishgard. The towers are drawing upon the land. Looking on a certain other tower. Which would tower. explain how they were able to carry out the summoning. I have a bonk reward, by the way, if anyone wants to use it on me. Our allies must be informed of this. We should return to the Rising Stones and have Tataru relay our findings to them. So there's just eight of us now? Thank you. Bonk. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me. I haven't heard you since Heaven's Word. Darkness comes. Darkness comes. comes. And with, and with it, it. it's gonna bonk me. The end. The, end. the fate, the fate, fate bonk. of the star, the star is in your, is hands. In your hands. hands. Also, if you want to play this game, I believe it's on sale right now. Everything all right back there? And it's always in a free trial. Oh. Yeah, just an old friend giving me a message. I sound crazy, don't I? But you sound crazy every time you talk. We're gearing up towards the end. Ends with the fucking Seinfeld theme. So, uh, oh, they're just here hanging out. That's cool. I can just, uh, go up and talk to them whenever I want because. I don't know, it's kind of annoying that, like, important NPCs, like, you can't just, uh, your timing was godlike, that was amazing. Kind of annoys me that I can't just, uh, visit my, uh, friends whenever I want, but, uh, just for fun, let's see what this clown has to say. So, go I spent many moons roaming Kugane, brother. You were in Kugane? I was in Kugane. Why, why didn't we see each other? Probably because I really wanted to get out of Kugane. <laughs> Did, uh, did you and Tataru hang out by any chance? So, uh, I assume this is the first, uh, end hawker quest. So, with that, I'm, I'm gonna end it for now, but we're gonna watch the end walker trailer.
What's this, uh, butt rock music? What's this, uh, Foo Fighters? Who's that? Oh, that's, a uh, John Fantasy. Oh, this is- the this, this song is called Footfall. Oh, he wears Square Enix brand boots. Thank you, John Fantasy. There's our boy. a medley of all the songs. Dante. Took your time. Tis as we feared. The respite afforded this land was but fleeting. It's so weird in this in these graphics. Sanger's like an old man now. Hickson in the ball. Would keep its council while the world is lost to ruin. It would. Come what may, we shall live on. We must. Do as you must, then. But we scions will fight. Until the heavens fall. Until our last breath. Yuen hit a lot of threesomes of his life. That's kind of base. Did the and join? Yeah. 
John Fantasy. John Fantasy goes to the moon. Well then, probably uh, looks way cooler than the game, but uh, I'm excited. No, we're not going to Wayne and Fry, we're going to the moon. Uh, so, uh, I guess this is the part where I share my thoughts on the expansion. Um, I'm sorry I'm not crying. Like, what's the difference between Wayne and Priory and the moon? Um, Martin doesn't ask to go to the moon constantly. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Like, we should go to the moon. I'm gonna like, write a movie about a man who really wants to go to the moon and won't stop asking about it, but Sean Bean plays that man. But, uh, anyway, uh, sorry I, I'm not crying like I was at the end of Stormblood, but overall I did enjoy Shadowbringers more than Stormblood. Um, it, it was just that one scene at the end of Shadowbringers that was really good, and the rest sucked, but, uh, this one, uh, I mean, overall, Heaven's Word is still my favorite. But Shadowbringers is very good. I just think Shadowbringers is mainly good in the main plot, but the uh, kind of little small things kind of tend to lag behind, and I wasn't as connected with them like I was with Heaven's Words. And um, I don't know. The first part, of the first post quests were a little disappointing, but I actually really liked the uh, people were telling me that. Uh, 5.4 and 5.5 were terrible, or one person told me that, but I disagree. I enjoyed them, although uh, I'm definitely biased because it featured some of my old favorite characters, namely uh, uh, Emmerich de Burrell, my uh, the love of my life, uh, well, the love of my life in this game at least. Uh, I, I have many loves of my life in video games because as a gamer, I don't have a you think I don't have a life, but actually I have many. My life is like a video game, trying hard to beat the stage. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, I think Emmett Selk is my new favorite villain. Heisenberg. <laughs> Emmett Selk is definitely my one of my new favorite villains, if not my new favorite villain. I know we haven't seen him in a while, but ever since I got his, uh, more of his backstory. I've really enjoyed him more. Um, as far for uh, also really excited to have Astinian back on the team again. I adore him. Uh, will always complain about not getting more of Emmerich now that Heaven's, Heaven's Word is over, but uh, I will keep writing Yoshi P angry letters about that. And uh, for Endwalker, I will be trying a DPS. Um, I might do Dragoon, but based on certain comments, now I also want to do Black Mage. But, uh, anyway, I am quite tired. Uh, I've been, str I streamed for like nine days straight, going for four to five hours, sometimes over five hours each day. And, uh, I'm going to be taking a week off. I'll probably be back on... Unless something changes next money. Tank quests are kind of shit in Endwalker, so I just shouldn't bother. Uh, yeah, so Dragoon. Uh, Dragoon and uh, possibly also Black Mage. Probably Black Mage. Uh, uh, is it worth just uh, leveling all the classes ever? Uh, anyway, for the people who have not played this but are are interested in it, uh, it's a free trial that goes up to Heaven's Word, up to level 60. Uh, full game is on sale, I believe. 
Don't worry, you don't have to watch all of my streams. Don't love all classes until you beat Endwalker. Uh, and then after you do Endwalker someday, I really do want to do... It's 30% off right now. Uh, pretty good deal. I, I bought full price for this, but just because I knew I would really enjoy it after I did Heaven's Word. But uh, yeah, thank you for your support. Uh, I will be thinking of sub goals eventually. Uh, right now, the uh, 15 a month sub goal is the uh, Hot Chip and Pegging fanfic. Yes, that is the combination. You will get both of them if I get 15 subs in a month or just enough for a new uh, emote. But uh, thank you guys for watching me. Uh, thank you for sticking around, even during the annoying parts, even during my, my, my mic glitches. I might have solved the problem soon, but uh, thank you. I'm tired of talking. <laughs>